Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Vision. I appreciate you all tuning and tapping in to the channel. Welcome to any of you that may be new and tuning in for the first time. Welcome back to all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love, beloveds. Um, as you all know, it's been a little minute since I've uploaded. I've been having some technical issues, if you want to call it that. My computer a few weeks ago completely crashed. My hard drive crashed. So I'm in the process of, you know, um, replacing my computer. Uh, they are working to um, fix it. So I should be getting it. Uh, soon I should be getting that situation situated very soon uh, I had a lot of little technical things happen and that's why I gave you all um, just a couple of tips during this upcoming mercury retrograde uh, I've been feeling the effects of it leading up to the mercury retrograde Re mercury retrograde technically doesn't hit until August 23rd but I've been feeling the effects of it way beyond, you know, way before that time. So, you know, some of you all may also be experiencing a lot of different issues. I know I've had some issues with like my indicator lights. Um, though, you know, my lights went out in my car, my computer crashed. Uh, shortly after that, my cell phone um, just start, stopped working. Like it would not boot up. It would not uh, turn on. And I thought that the battery fried. And I was in the process of replacing that. And then, you know, it just magically turned on. Uh, my son's phone also um, fried. So he's without a phone. Uh, you know, a couple people that I know have also experienced a lot of issues with their phones, uh, especially iPhone users. I don't know if there's something going on, but a lot of iPhone users, like a couple of people at my uh, job, were saying that they experienced something similar where their phone wouldn't boot up and it took them um, hours before the phone would turn on. Mine took days. Um, Another person said that they also experienced some electrical issues with their lights um, in their car. Uh, someone's um, had to completely uh, replace like their startup in their vehicle like it just randomly stopped working it was fine and it just randomly stopped working so some of you all may be experiencing those same technical issues we all know that that's what mercury retrograde tends to do it kind of breaks down um, you know and causes a lot of glitches maybe even miscommunication there could be some arguments heated debates uh, so just be mindful stand clear don't uh, allow yourselves to get tempted into uh, you know such um, disagreements like literally take the high road um, and ig the ignorance you know basically um, I will you all a blist and highly favored otherwise everything is everything on my side of the planet uh, I wanted to give you all a reading because I feel like I'm in a more clear uh, mind state uh, mind state my mind is clearer than it was. I don't like to provide readings when, um, you know, there's a lot of things going on in my personal life because I don't want what's happening in my personal life to spill over into the reading for the collective. So I tend to just kind of fall back, let the energy play out. And then when I feel like I have that sense of uh, cohesiveness and clarity, then I will uh, provide a reading. And I do feel like spirit has something to say to you all, beloveds. Um, some of the amazing encounters that I've had since I last spoke to you all is I've seen um, a double rainbow. I posted a picture of that and I also seen another rainbow uh, a week apart literally to the day uh, so last Monday I saw a double rainbow and this Monday I saw a rainbow um, I also saw a rabbit uh, you know as I was exiting out of my apartment complex it was just sitting right there and it was very interesting because I was having a conversation with my my angels in that instance and then the rabbit appeared so I do feel like your angels are around you uh, there's definitely a sense that you know whatever you you've endured in your past um, it has been almost like 
you know, whatever you thought that setback was, it's really um, setting you up for success. It's really uh, preparing you uh, for your blessings. It's really uh, a situation that um, you were meant to grow through to bring you to this next chapter. Uh, so you are on the precipice of something very beautiful, Scorpios. And I feel that this is something earned. Um, this isn't just given to you. This is something you've earned. So if you all have found yourselves navigating some tough terrain through these past couple of years, years, I do feel like you are now uh, going to be rewarded. I feel like your angels are absolutely pleased with you, your efforts, your determination, your will, your drive, um, just you owning your power, standing your power. Uh, your angels definitely have heard your prayers. Um, I'm hearing fervently. You've been praying fervently. Um, a lot of you have been really, uh, you know, kneeling down and praying and calling on your ancestors, asking for the strength to overcome, to, to endure or, uh, you know, whatever circumstances you may have been experiencing these past few years, I feel that it wasn't an easy, um, it wasn't an easy feat, but you've overcome it. You've persevered through it and you've shown nothing but strength. You've shown nothing but resilience. And that is the reason why I feel like there's, you know, a happier um, outcome, like whatever, however it started, it's going to end, you know, with a happy ending uh, where you're going to get everything that you've been, you know, calling in. Now you're more open and receptive to receiving the blessings, whereas in the past you could have been a little more proud, a little more guarded. Um, and not as receptive, not as open to receive because you were really in that space of protecting yourself. But now it's like you see things very clearly, um, getting a sense of you having uh, clarity as if there is wool that's been pulled from your eyes or, you know, whatever illusions you are part of, you no longer are a part of those illusions. It's like you now have the clarity. You now can see uh, very clearly um, what things are. Maybe there were certain people around you that were opportunistic and, you know, you didn't realize it um, in those instances. But when you took a step back, you started to see people for who they truly were. Uh, maybe there were certain circumstances you were involved in that you really didn't know um, were very, very beneficial, but when you took a step from it or when you separated yourself um, or walked away from certain circumstances, it's like you realize just how much of a relief it was and how burdensome it was to be involved and entangled in said circumstance. So it's like you now see things very clearly. I get a sense of you having some sort of grand epiphany, having some sort of like aha moment. It's like, as I said, like you're no longer a part of the illusion. It's like you see very clearly now uh, what things are, who people are, what you want, what you deserve. So it was, uh, you know, a very necessary um, experience that you went through because it brought you to this this time and space right now. So it's a beautiful thing. Um, that's why it's it's never, you know, you, we never need to, to get uh, in a space where we have regrets because everything has a purpose, everything has a reason, and we just have to figure out why, why it happened, why it occurred, what was the lesson in that experience. And I feel like you've discovered exactly that, what the lessons were. If they were certain people in your life, you realized why that person was brought into your life or why you had to endure a certain you know um, outcome with someone because it may have taught you to value yourself more, to prioritize yourself more and to not overcompensate or, or to um, to give more than you are receiving or to love someone more than they're showing you love. Um, so I feel like there was a reason. There's always a rhyme and a reason. And I feel like there's this sense of relief now because it's like it, you're unbothered. It's like even though those circumstances could have been very tumultuous or there could have been a lot of, of pain surrounding those situations, I feel like it's helped you to to grow. You've grown personally. Um, you've also learned to trust your own intuition. You've also learned uh, to assert yourself, um, to be more confident, to be more courageous. And this has only made you sharper. It's only made you wiser. So there's a blessing. There's always a blessing um, in the lessons. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, for all of you that may be new, as I said, my name is Q. I channel messages into Intuitively, I am an empath.
path. I'm also a clairaudient, so I do incorporate music into my readings. And the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing, and it all blends very beautifully. So my spill here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements just for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, the energy that I'm picking up on, it could be your energy. It could be the energy that is around you. It could be the energy of who's coming in. Um, so just use your own discernment. Um, and we're going to go ahead and proceed with the read. Uh, before we do, you already know we got to do some house cleaning our shape. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive. A uh, deep inhale and then exhale. I shape. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to help me pick up on the energies number synchronicities and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be ashe 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 oh so we have what time is it on the cliz arc so it is 14 on the clock um and that reduces to five so it is um I'm getting a sense of communication coming in because it is 1148 and that breaks down to 14, which breaks down to five. And we have Tosh Sultana playing on the playlist. The name of the song is called Synergy. So um, I'm definitely getting perhaps uh, there's some communication coming in. There's some clarity. Uh, I also feel some of you have come into alignment with your divine purpose, but I'm also feeling like you're coming into alignment with your divine person. Um, the five is associated with the throat chakra. So that's why I was picking up initial communication conversations with synergy. This could be someone that you have dope connection, chemistry and synergy with. So I'm getting a sense of like uh, a like minded individual, someone that you may have a lot in common with, someone that you may uh, share a lot of similarities, a lot of the same interests. Um, but that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say. So, um. So yeah, so synergy. Uh, synergy is really a beautiful energy because it's like it's it's almost like your souls are intertwined, is what I'm hearing. And with that 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 five, um, as I said, that is associated with the hierophant, and the hierophant is. Um, it does speak to like marriage, in addition to um, you know. Um, in addition to like learning and studentship and, and building your wealth of knowledge, uh, it can speak to, you know, institutions. Maybe you are going through training classes, um, building your wealth of knowledge, as I said, or going through some sort of, of um, uh, uh, some sort of um, learning process uh, where you are, you know, really trying to develop um, a skill set. Uh, maybe you're just, as I said, um, honing a certain skill, gift, or talent that you already have. Uh, mastering your craft. You're just mastering your craft. And you could also be, you know, kind of like building and conversing with maybe elders in your community. Uh, maybe master teachers, pastors, preachers. Maybe a matriarch or patriarch. A maternal or paternal figure is perhaps giving you some sound advice. Uh, so there's a lot of communication um, or maybe this is just you doing research, uh, you investigating some things and learning, uh, learning, you're sharpening your sword, you're you're developing, um, you're maturing, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm just getting a sense of also, as I said, like communication uh, and this communication.
communication can be very exciting uh, because I do feel like you're meeting someone uh, on the same playing field. Like this is someone on your frequency, on your vibration. This could be someone that speaks your love language. Um, but we're going to take a, you know, take a little peeky peek, see what the cards have to say. Uh, I am feeling change, changes in the air. Uh, positive changes are coming through for you all. So that's beautiful. And I feel like it has a lot to do with you now, like speaking your truth, owning your power, standing your ground, you know, standing up for what you believe in. And look at this. I can't make this up. I spoke to communication. Look what we have here. This is 33 now. So this is six. So this is definitely um, something that's bringing clarity because this is a yellow card. I feel like you are mirroring someone's energy in terms of your strength, in terms of your courage, your wise dome. Um, that three is associated with the solar plexus and that is the sun that shines within us. So I feel like someone that is coming towards you with communication is perhaps building their strength and courage. Perhaps some of you all are picking up on some energy intuitively because the six is associated with the first eye. Um, I get a sense strongly like someone also sees you if you are a feminine energy as a divine feminine. If you're a masculine, like you could be a divine masculine. Um, definitely there's this sense of like seeing you as very strong, very wise, very intelligent, very grounded, um, someone who's also very intuitive, very psychic, very connected, very spiritual. Um, I get a sense of like uh, also someone feeling this sense of warmth, this adoration and this attraction towards you, especially with synergy playing. And that six is also associated with the lovers. So this could be like a twin flame connection, soulmate connection, spiritual union, uh, you know, a cosmic companion. This is like even someone that could be from a past life. Life. Maybe that's how you will feel like, you know, this person, like that's why I was picking up like a, a sense of familiarity earlier, earlier, because, you know, with the lovers and the synergy playing, um, I do get a sense of like, as I said, your souls feel to be intertwined. So there is this sense of, um, you know, like, you know, relating to this person in some very deep way. Um, and the communication is very stimulating. Um, you feel very happy, you know, uh, revitalized, you know, by this conversation. Um, maybe someone is expressing love. As I said, you know, there's could be some, you know, good news also coming in positive news, like news you've been waiting for is what I'm hearing as well. Because that six, as I said, is the lovers that could speak to, to divine unions and connections. It could also speak to partnerships and building business alliances, collaborating with other people. Um, but trust your intuition. Maybe you are already picking up on this. Use discernment is what I'm saying, is what I'm hearing also. What we have playing now is we have earth, wind and fire. And this is called keep your head to the sky. So as I'm speaking of trusting your intuition and using discernment, um, spirit is telling you to keep your head to the sky because maybe there's signs and synchronicities or there could be some, um, you know, some downloads, divine downloads, interventions. Uh, you know, I, I've been really having a lot of divine interventions. I've been finding a lot of feathers. So maybe that's something that you all have been doing as well. Um, but keep your head to the sky is really about, you know, keep your head up, um, stay optimistic, be, remain hopeful uh, because things are turning out in your favor. I feel like there's good news coming in, um, especially with this yellow. I just get a sense of like the sun shining or clarity or illumination. Uh, but I also get a sense of good news, happiness, joy, uh, feeling, fulfilled, feeling emotionally fulfilled and even, you know, um, uh, financially fulfilled. So this card wanted to jump out compassion and I'm going to let it. So we have nine, nine compassion. This is your bonus and compassion is when you are, you know, being empathic towards other people, which means that you're, you're not judging another person. You're, you're, you're showing that sense of forgiveness, even towards those who may have wronged you in your past. Forgiveness is always for you. When you forgive, you could clip those karmic cords that, you know, karmics may try to bind you with, to hold you back energetically. Um, um, you know, so like letting go and re releasing any resentment, animosity, any anger, frustration you may have towards other people and just, you know, showing that compassion and, 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 and thinking from, you know, a more, uh, a more awakened perspective that, you know, you know, hurt people will hurt people. Um, and, and there's, you know, people will 
um, act out. You know, people are not going to always uh, do what you think they should do because a lot of people are not as um, emotionally intelligent as you may be Scorpio so there's there's this energy of like dealing with very foolish energy childish energy um, even negative energy people who were opportunistic people who were jealous and envious of you um, but spirit is saying you know be kind you know show compassion um, you know judge not is what I'm hearing uh, because we all have to grow through our experiences and and you are just more advanced in in emotionally than others but you know compassion is is really just being non-judgmental and forgiving even forgiving those who may not have ever apologized Be, take the high road um is what i'm getting so that's the overall energy that's why keep your head to the sky with earth wind and fire um that is all of the elements and that speaks to you being able to utilize the elements around you so you are the magi you are a master manifester so you're an alchemist which means you could change your circumstance other people may not have reached your level of um, maturation they may not have reached that level and so that's why spirit wants you to show compassion and and be more empathic you don't have to accept people back into your life but you can forgive people and keep it pushing pray for people from a distance um, and and don't wish harm on anyone don't be vengeful don't seek revenge let your angels handle that because they are all around you I just get a sense of your angels being very very proud of you very proud of your growth your maturation with this nine nine i'm also seeing here that your your scene is very guarded because i'm getting like the nine of wands uh but i'm also seeing that you are also in for rewards like you're being recognized to be rewarded you also could be attracting someone who also has that same emotional um elevator you know they have that same emotional intelligence so this could be someone that could be an earth sign or someone that could be a fellow water sign as well um, I do get a sense of you being also, um, you know, in a hermit mode, really taking that time to really heal yourselves, taking that time to really nurture yourselves after disappointment, learning to establish boundaries, learning to cut off what no longer serves you, learning to purge people, places and things, but also looking back in awareness and discovering what you deserve and, and going out and, and, and acquiring it. There's no fears here. I also also feel you're attracting what you are um, you're going to attract someone as I said that speaks your love language because I get a sense of whoever you're attracting because this is the overall energy is compassion you're gonna attract someone who's experienced similar life lessons experienced similar disappointments and they too have had to learn to love themselves prioritize themselves and also you know, establish boundaries in the same way that you have. But whoever it was in your past that kind of like consistently disappointed you, I get a sense of you, you know, now realizing um, and taking onus and accountability uh, for what you may have allowed. Uh, because, you know, no one could do anything to you unless you allow it. Um, and I feel like you're not allowing yourself to play victim. When you play victim, you don't heal. You just stay stuck in that space where it's everyone else's fault and you don't look at yourself. You're not self-aware. But when you can take a step back and in this hermit mode, as I say, always hermits are like wizards. So that means that you're wise enough to, you know, really take that onus and accountability for what you have allowed. I definitely get a sense of like if you were in failed relationships, failed marriages, even if you were engaged to get married, even if you were with the mothers or fathers to your children for up to nine years, maybe you knew someone. Uh, got with someone when you were 27 um, I mean 18 maybe you knew someone or met someone when you were 18 pardon me um, you know maybe that failed relationship is what led to this growing pain um, to this growth spurt and it's like you didn't jump right into another relationship you didn't dive back on to the dating scene I feel like you took the necessary time to heal you took the necessary time to work on you to reflect to introspect to gain that self awareness and after doing that and realizing and recognizing your errors then you made the changes that were necessary because nine is the highest number in vibration of change I feel like you really change your false belief systems ideologies you change those bad habits 
and you completely purged from things that were no longer serving you. What we have on the bottom of the deck for who or what you're about to, uh, what you're attracting to you, we have 14 moderation. So again, this is the five because that 14 breaks down to five. So I'm getting a sense of someone wanting to express something to you. Um, and what we have is uh, Prince, and this is called somebody's somebody. So maybe someone was uh, entangled in another relationship. Maybe someone is, you know, kind of severing the ties uh, because there is a change here. And I feel this change is because someone is healed. Someone has grown. Someone is making some sort of changes. Um, this is that maturation that I was getting before with this red in the symbol and that number one, uh, someone could be healing from past traumas, whether these are uh, healing from family issues, uh, you know, healing from mommy, daddy issues. Maybe someone is dealing, healing from childhood traumas, as I said, or, you know, just traumas in a love ship, in a relationship where they were broken hearted. I see that someone is healing. I see that someone is taking the necessary time to heal, to reflect. There could be a lot of remorse, a lot of shame associated, um, with something that met its demise, but I am getting a sense. And what's behind that? Because this wanted to show is showing domestic harmony. So just as I said, so with this 14 and five and this 46, that's one something ended within a partnership because we see this green here, someone that really loved someone. I feel that there were a lot of challenges in this relationship. I feel like someone definitely um, is, you know, looking back at something they left, they feel they left behind, or maybe someone felt left behind, rejected, or uh, abandoned, and this forced them to kind of work on themselves and heal and maybe seek out that advice that I was picking up on earlier because that five is associated with the higher offense. So this is the growth. This is that, you know, growing pain, that maturation, um, learning from your um your experiences with this 46 domestic harmony uh tens are always an ending it could be a painful ending a loss this feels like this was like um you know a marriage or someone that was living with another person maybe it was common law marriage uh maybe this is again you know um that energy of where there is a separation because whatever that harmony the peace was um it's it's kind of like at an end it's like it's met its um it's it's at this it's it's met its demise i'm getting a sense of and this 46 one and this 14 five that's six so i do get a sense of someone moving away making a decision because i'm seeing the six of swords where someone is finally making this a decision to move away because something within the dynamic here has changed and that change has triggered someone um, you know, to really work on themselves. And I feel like, you know, whatever work someone has been doing, it's like it has been um, strengthening them. It has been strengthening them. So it's beautiful here. And with somebody, somebody, uh, um, someone could have found out that there, uh, someone had like, you know, some sort of entanglements. Um, you know, someone was trying to be Prince Charming. So I want to get one more card, you know, for the overall energy, because this was like a bonus message because it kind of chose itself. So if I spirit of peace, power and protection, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Divine spirit, let me get a message of peace, power and protection for my beloved Scorpio spirit. So there goes your message. It was chose for you again. There goes the six love. So there's definitely someone that loves you, and I do feel like they will communicate that to you. Maybe someone sends you telepathic messages, intuitive messages. Maybe someone is definitely dreaming of you, thinking of you a lot, and you could be picking up on that energy. My throat is getting blocked. You could hear it. Um, <clears throat> so this is someone that does not, they're not um, used to emoting feelings, expressing feelings, or having these type of heart-to-heart -heart conversations um this is definitely someone uh that loves you though this is you know a blue card blue deals with the throat chakra and this six that's associated with the lovers i was picking up on that six so i am getting a sense of like this being someone um again you know that synergy they're going to feel that sense of synergy and chemistry uh when you do bump into this person because whoever this is um I feel like they're watching you. I feel like there's a sense of someone watching you. And we have this new beginning here. And remember, I was saying you're on the precipice of a new start because you've cr completely wrapped up a cycle. It's like you see things clearly now. And even though this is nine, nine and one, this still is uh, one. So you are, you know, in for a very beautiful, uh, fresh new start. Very exciting times are ahead for you. Um, I also get a sense of someone being very attracted to you, uh, drawn to you. Um, and this is someone that's made 
in your likeness because as I said, this is someone that's also very compassionate, very caring, very accommodating, very nurturing, such as yourself. And that's why I was picking up maybe an earth sign or a fellow water sign. Um, but it could be any sign. But I was I was just picking up that energy of a very nurturing um you know, energy, a very loving and in and, and, uh, devoted energy, very uh, attentive energy. Um, this is someone that has a lot of passion. This could even be you uh, embarking on some sort of new beginning very passionately, boldly. Um, I just feel the sense of intensity. Um, and it's a beautiful energy because it's like uh, a, a, a boldness, a fearlessness uh, that you are coming out um, out of the gate with and with the six love you know we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you so I feel like this is really making you very attractive this this assertiveness um, because you're exuding confidence you're exuding this this leader um, this 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 king or queen this divine feminine divine masculine it's like someone sees God in you someone sees a goddess in you uh, and they they like what they see they love what they see and someone may approach you someone may communicate um, with you we have Oshun and this is called stuck so with Oshun Oshun is a, an Orisha beautiful Orisha this can be a water sign as I said so I do feel like this is someone that does love you the um, Oshun is very beautiful very attractive um, she's very fertile so someone really sees you as the yin to their yang if you're masculine the yang to their yin um, as I said this is like uh, someone that could feel very familiar because I'm also getting a sense of like um, a past life love. I keep hearing past life. So maybe when you meet this person, your initial conversation, um, it will be very stimulating. And you will find that you have a lot of commonalities, a lot of similarities um, and familiarities. Maybe you've visited the same places or maybe you come from the same walks of life or maybe you have the same interests. Um, maybe you share uh, the same, you know, uh, sign you know like whatever it is i just get a sense of like this being a very strong spiritual union connection bond um and someone that you can build with and grow with this is someone that absolutely loves you this is beautiful and i feel like with stuck they they feel stuck um in whatever they're dealing with or whatever they're going through um it's like a sense of like someone feels stuck here um so let's see what's going on. Let's see why. So who is this? Wow. So we got eight manifestations. So someone that you could have manifested. This is like a wish fulfillment. This is also like, you know, your work, your efforts are paying off. Whatever you've learned about your ability, because you got 9999 nine, nine, nine here and that's 27, that's 9. Something is really changing and springing emotional fulfillment. This is a pink card, but this also is coming in because you've stood erect, as I said. That sense of boldness, fearlessness, drive, determination is like you now know you're the alchemist, you're the magi, and you can manifest your desired outcomes. I feel like whoever you're attracting, to you or whatever you're attracting to you is manifesting is materializing in this physical reality and this is why you are going to feel this beautiful um, fresh start you feel like this is a fresh start you feel like this is a new lease on life is what I'm hearing also we have 37 time out and remember I was picking up like that hermit mode where you've kind of taken a step back and you know kind of disconnected from the outside world uh, so that you could get you know those downloads from your higher self so that you could consult with your higher self so to speak and i feel like upon you um you know taking that step back it has brought so much um clarity you know it's also brought this sense of illumination uh that you are the alchemist because it's 37 uh even though that's a 10 uh that's that time out that's kind of like taking initiative to end to disconnect from connections that were um very burdensome very um very fugazi very fake uh, these aren't genuine. This is disingenuous energy or disingenuous connections and really taking a step back to really prioritize you. And in that time of reflection and deep introspection, you realize and discover that you're the alchemist of your own life. You're not a victim of anything. And so you start manifesting. And so this time out brought you into awareness that you are the alchemist. I also feel like someone sees you as a master.
master manifester um, because what you're attracting to you is this eight. Eight is always, um, to me, I associate it with the star. Um, I feel like, you know, from just healing from past pains and finding that emotional, spiritual, and, and mental equilibrium, um, it does make you more powerful in your ability uh, to manifest. Uh, so this is how someone may see you as someone that may have taken a step back to prioritize you or to work on you to heal because one is also dealing with the root chakra so you may have gotten to the root cause the problems um, that may have been occurring in your life uh, this could be you or the person you're attracting but this is we're pulling the card for how someone feels about you so they do feel like you've taken the necessary time out to heal thyself to learn to better love thyself and to you know really know thyself so you know who you are and you knowing who you are um, is now really um, empowering you to manifest what you desire, to call in what you desire. So let's tap in. Wow, your cards are just flying out. So we got 19 pride here, and that will be there for what uh, is hidden in the energy. So what we have is 26 love partnership. So you are someone that someone can see themselves with. This is another eight. So eight and eight is seven. So this is someone really mustering up the strength to come towards you. This could be a cancer because I'm getting the chariot because eight and eight is, um, you know, 16 that reduces to seven. We also just had the lion's gate the other day. So I do feel like, you know, if you all were doing manifestation rituals, which was the very powerful time to do so that you are manifesting um, this love partnership and this is someone that is absolutely feeling like a wish fulfillment this could be someone um, that you uh, may have walked away from in your past this could have been someone that you knew from a place of employment or from your um, old neighborhood maybe in your just everyday walks of life maybe you met them at a grocery store a local gym whatever this is it's like I get a sense of familiarity here because I'm getting like the eight of pentacles uh, when I see this eight so this is like I'm getting someone that really wants to you know work together to collaborate it's almost like they're returning because they're ready maybe in the past they weren't ready um, and I'm hearing, you know, um, you know, how they feel about you is they feel like, you know, this is someone that wants to, you know, rekindle this connection uh, because they do feel like um, they do feel this sense of you being like their wish fulfillment, um, you being someone that. Um, is the star of their story like they can they can envision this beautiful uh, love story they have a vision of love when it comes to you uh, we also have this 19 pride here so this is what's hidden you know someone's having an ego death maybe this is what the issue was in the past if you are familiar with this person maybe someone's ego was through the roof there was an ego maniac maybe someone had a lot of options maybe this is someone very handsome or someone very attractive very beautiful and you know they let it go to their head they could have been very conceited, um, you know, not really, you know, um, not really taking things seriously when it came to the connection. So they kind of treated you like you was just an option, perhaps. But they're having an ego death because I feel like this is that same person now, you know, that is kind of like uh, realizing their attraction is real. You know, someone has this very strong attraction um, strong fire, strong desire for you. Uh, and I feel like, you know, uh, if someone was egotistical, this is a sign of immaturity. Uh, it was all a facade. I feel like someone was not being their authentic self. Um, I was picking up on like disingenuous. Uh, so maybe that's someone that you also walked away from, from your past. So maybe you just simply haven't heard from them in a while, but I do get a sense of like them, um, kind of growing, maturing, uh, and also having to do some work uh, to to become, um, you know, to become uh, better suited for you. Uh, I get a sense that like you you may have like taught someone a valuable lesson uh, because you don't chase. You know, um, when you know your worth and value, uh, you you're not going to chase. You're going to establish boundaries, and you're definitely not going to settle. Um, and that's something that you may have learned from a former karmic relationship is to to you know establish boundaries from the gate uh, because if people could push you around they will do so and I feel like you establish boundaries from the gate uh, with this person and now they're realizing 
um, you know, that they have to show up better. So what we have playing right now is Ebony Eyes. This is by uh, Rick James. You could deal with someone named Rick or James, first, middle, or last. Um, but with Ebony Eyes, some of you all have uh, brown eyes. Maybe this person loves your eyes. Um, I'm getting a sense of like maybe this is someone that, you know, maybe if you are familiar with this person, maybe this is someone that you may have shared some sort of warm embrace and you two could have been kind of gazing into one another's eyes, getting lost in one another's eyes. Uh, maybe this is someone, uh, as I said, that just watches you, a secret admirer, someone that misses you, someone that just really um, adores you is what I'm getting. So let's tap in. What what is hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. What's coming in? Thank you, Spirit. And so we have spiritual career here. So many of you are embarking on a new spiritual career with the skills, gifts, and talents that you have been honing, mastering your craft is what I was picking up on earlier with that 14.5, and that's associated with the Hierophant. So whatever you've been learning, this 15 breaks down to 6. So a lot of you are utilizing um, you know, your psychic abilities, your uh, clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant abilities, your intuitive abilities. You could be scryers, you could be channelers. I feel like that is what your 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 um building your brand on. Maybe you are uh, an alchemist. You could be making like um, spiritual products. Um, you could have your own, you know, um, esoteric shops. But I do feel like there's uh, absolute like victories and success and major breakthroughs coming ahead. I see self-discipline here, 41. Uh, that reduces to five as well. So this is another sign of, you know, someone really um, focusing on really uh, this is self-improvement. Uh, this also is someone who's um, taking onus, uh, prioritizing themselves, realizing and that self-discipline is, is all-encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value. When you discipline yourself, that means that you are... Um you are taking responsibility uh, for your actions. You're taking responsibility for how you show up in the world. So this is really about that maturation that I was picking up on and not being someone who's a victim, um, standing erect, standing perpendicular in your square, standing up for what you believe in even, um, speaking your truth, expressing your truth, also learning um, to love thyself. You know, you have a, a stronger, more profound and deeper love for yourself. Um, you realize just how fly you are. You realize just how gifted you are. You realize how lovable you are. And I feel like when you realize that, um, you emote, you exude that love, that self-love, and that makes you more attractive. And this is why I feel like it leads to you um, being very... Um, sought after. I feel like you're going to have a lot of suitors. I feel like you're going to have people um, that are going to want to... Uh, you know, collaborate and, and, and cultivate with you and nurture a relationship with you um, and, and, and develop something more, um, you know, like a committed connection. You know, this is really like leading to marriage. It's leading to, you know, that happily ever after. So let's tap in. So why is this? Uh, what's the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And we get a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck, we got synchronicity here, 87. So you got 78 and 87, that's synchronicity right there. So whoever this is, they can also be coming in. Um, you could be aligned with your purpose as well as your person. This could be someone that's also in the same line of business. Someone that has the same calling. Uh, I feel like you will meet this person um, pursuing your dreams, pursuing your goals. I feel like a lot of you may also be be seeing a lot of synchronicities. Perhaps you're seeing a lot of 888s, 777s. Maybe you're seeing 666, uh, maybe 999s, 111s, 1111s. You could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. And these are messages from your angels um, that they are around you, that they are protecting you, that they are guiding you. Um, and whenever you need them, all you got to do is call, they show up. Uh, so it's like you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities, whether that be in numbers, maybe you're bumping into the same animal totems, maybe you're finding feathers, maybe you're, you know, finding, you know, rainbows, you turn a corner and there's a rainbow there. Um, whatever the case may be, pay attention to those signs and synchronicities, definitely, definitely write down, um, you know, 
you know, certain things that may occur in your dreams, like keep a dream journal as well, is what I'm picking up on. And also trust your intuition. If your ears are ringing, um, take note of what you're thinking about in that instance and take a look at the time and, and really, you know, sit down and meditate on what that message might be because spirit is always communicating with you. I definitely get a sense like spirit is telling you, trust your intuition and use discernment. So the cards that flew out is we have 63 parenting. So some of you all, the outcome is that, you know, you really could be dealing with the mother or father to your children and maybe your own mother and father, your own Baba or Umi, uh, a maternal or paternal figure is of significance with the 63.9 I do get a sense of maybe you establishing boundaries um, you cutting someone off maybe you see something clearly something may have been revealed um, in regards to this person in regards to a situation with a parent uh, maybe you found out some news about someone and um, it's forcing you to establish some sort of boundaries because the 63.9 as I said that's the highest number of change so I'm getting a sense of a change and I'm not feeling like this is a change um, that is, I don't want to say it's not for the better, but this is a change that was necessary so that you can move on, so that you can leave said person behind or so that you can, you know, finally, it's like you're finally getting the answers that you've been seeking or you're finally getting um, proof of something, perhaps. Uh, I feel there's something in you know, regarding the communication that provides clarity. So something that may have been hitting for quite some time, it's like you may have been uh, very in tune and tapped in, like, intuitively but you didn't have proof and I feel like now uh, that proof may come to surface may come to light and it's all because this 8-8 portal you know that that's about karmic endings it's about transformations it's about shifts things are pivoting things are turning taking a turn and it's inevitable. It's nothing you could do about it. So I do feel like if you were in a volatile, um, you know, co-parenting uh, relationship with someone, I feel like there's some sort of proof that you need to establish boundaries, that you need to keep someone blocked off, or that you need to um, be mindful of how much time and energy um, you invest in said connection. Because maybe you've discovered someone was very manipulative or someone was very toxic. Um Someone could have been doing some sort of like um, root work, speaking ill of you, throwing dirt on your name. Uh, there could be anything here. What we have next is communication. What did I say about communication? So there's something within the communication with the mother or father to your child or your own mother and father. Because with the 63 and this 33, 9, this is, you know, six here. So I feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition because what you what you always felt, what you always knew, it, 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 it comes to light. It's like you, you finally get some sort of um, proof of something, like something is finally like made, it's revealed is what I'm getting. And we have this 87 again, um, you know, on the bottom of the deck. So trust your intuition, use your gumption um, and definitely, you know, um, you know, don't feel guilt. Don't allow anyone to guilt trip you. You know, but I am getting a sense, you know, as I said, uh, that there can be uh, some communication. Some of you all could be single parents as well, you know, really dealing with a lot, you know, really, um, you know, really playing the mommy and the daddy role, uh, really having to, um, you know, stretch yourself out. And I feel like there's something that's finally um, going to uh, bring some sort of relief. It could be some good news, as I said, because I was picking up like victories and breakthroughs, especially with this number six. I just get like good news. I feel like something that's bringing some joy, some happiness and peace because these are both yellow cards. So I do feel like, you know, there is relief here because you now know that you don't have to uh, work as hard to try to sustain something. Um, you're no longer feeling, you know, obligated, that obligation you know, maybe that you may have burdened yourself with in the past. But I also feel because you're establishing this boundary, it's like there's something something positive that comes out of it, like something good that comes out of it, whether this is like spirit aligning you with some something uh, that's bringing some sort of um, positive information, positive news. What we have here is we have, um, who is this? We got new edition, You're Not My Kind of Girl. 
So I do feel like with new addition, I feel like there's going to be something new that's entering your life. Because remember, we had this one new beginning. So I'm getting like there's something new. There's a new addition. Maybe you found out that someone has a new addition to the family. Someone had a baby um, behind your back or someone had children or you found out someone may be pregnant or someone maybe um, may have gotten someone pregnant. And this provides you the clarity, that relief um, to let something go, to let it flow, to just leave it behind, you know. And um, with you're not my kind of girl, um, I feel like that's something that you may have come like this grand epiphany. If this is a masculine energy, um, you know, someone may have gotten someone pregnant and realized that whoever they, you know, um, impregnated isn't the type of person that they want to, you know, co-parent with or someone that they may not want to um be with long term um, and it's a little too late for that because they already got someone pregnant maybe this is you who may have a child's mother or a child's father and you're realizing that that person is not your type of uh, you know that they're not your t kind of girl or your kind of guy um, they're not your cup of tea you know and 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 this is giving you the clarity it's like if you were in the dark because I was picking up like you know if there were illusions or wool I just get a sense of like someone deceiving another person, um, portraying something that they weren't, putting on a facade, wearing a mask, I, I, deception, you know, and now there's clarity. Um, but with new addition, I get a sense maybe someone found out someone has a child or someone's pregnant or there's a new addition to the family or maybe you are getting some good news and this is adding to your life. This is adding, um, you know, some layer of, of um, you know, positivity um and some joy you know so this is this is beautiful so let's tap in so look what we have in the box you know it's stuck in the box it says blossoming abundance so i'm going to take this card i feel like this is a bonus message um whenever something gets stuck i feel like that's something spirit really wants to emphasize and this is the number three and remember we had 33 so this is the positive communication that something is blossoming. There's there's abundance coming in. Uh, three is also associated with the empress. So I do feel like if you're working on something, if you're mastering uh, your craft, as I was saying, it's like this is going to be very successful for you. Whatever you're doing is going to be very successful, especially with spiritual career. So continue to stay diligent, to continue to, um, you know, go after your dreams. Uh, because I feel like it's going to be very successful. Look what we have. I can't make this up. Now you have 11 and this is Carnucopia. So this is something your angels and your ancestors are assuring you. Both of these are, you know, messages of, you know, prosperity, abundance, success. So that's the good news that I was picking up on because I was just feeling like this feeling of elation. You know, like a relief. I was getting a sense of relief, like finding out maybe finding out that someone is in another relationship and got someone else pregnant is like a relief to you because now you got that person out of your hair. You know, now you don't have to burden yourself with trying to um, with trying to accommodate someone maybe now you know maybe this person was a pest you know there was like a thorn in your ass because i see that you were disappointed by this person a lot you know they were talking in circles promising things not keeping their end of the bargain um they weren't even much of a parent to your child uh definitely weren't being um you know responsible uh they weren't showing up in the way that they're supposed to and that's why i was getting a sense of like you uh carrying that burden on your own because you know it's like even though you have someone that um uh, you know is fully capable uh to show up and be a father or be a mother it's like they they refuse and it could be because they were too busy you know creating a new family or um chasing tail and got somebody uh pregnant and now they're caught up because with you're not my kind of girl i feel like you realize like this type of energy is not something you want um around you anyway uh and and i feel because you you know sever the ties or because you have some sort of epiphany or you trust your intuition um, I feel like, you know, there's this sense of like a wish fulfillment that comes in because of what you may have endured with this person. But this blossoming abundance is showing that your efforts are paying off. Your angels are uh, preparing you. They're conspiring behind the scenes to bring you some sort of good news uh, with this one and this three. Uh, remember, we had nine, nine compassion. This is what the overall energy is, and this reduces to uh, four. So what this is showing is that 
you know, matters of the heart because the four is associated with the heart chakra. It's also associated with the emperor. So if you are a masculine, I do get a sense of like, you know, you being a fulfilled emotionally. Um, something's blossoming, something is materializing, and it's based off of your efforts and your action. Even if you're a divine feminine, you have a divine masculine that is very attracted to you. Um, and they see you as, uh, you know, they see your worth, they see your value, they see you as very, um, you know, someone that they could build with and grow with and, and, and um, you know, cultivate something very beautiful with. And this is what's coming toward you with Carnucopia, and we're about to pull a card for Manifestation. Um, so this is showing again, like this is someone that's definitely manifesting, uh, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment or blessings are coming in and it's based off of your efforts. As I said, I definitely feel like good news is coming in. It's like what goes around comes back around. And so it's like, you know, the seeds that you've sowed in the past, they are, uh, blossoming and that's, what's leading to this harvest. You know, carnucopia is coming from your angels and your guides. That 11 is showing your angels are around you. They're pleased with your efforts. They're pleased with your strength. Um, they're pleased with the fact that you didn't seek out vengeance when you could have, you didn't, you know, stoop to anyone's level. I feel like you really just focused on healing yourself. And because you did that, you're going to align with someone that's also healed, someone that's also learned to, you know, stand erect and heal themselves because that 11 breaks down to two and I'm getting like, you know, the two of cups. Um, I'm also getting, you know, like you attracting someone made in your likeness and, you know, love is always an inside job. So you got to learn to love yourself in order to heal yourself. And then, you know, that self. And I feel like that's not only what you did, but it's also with someone that you're attracting has also done and not only will you two come into alignment and feel like you can give to one another equally or like you both speak the same love language or that you both share a lot of similarities commonalities um that there's this spiritual union and connection and bond and chemistry and synergy but you're also going to be rewarded it's like this is a blissed union a blissed connection a blissed um partnership this is beautiful so divine spirit of peace power and protection wise this eight manifestation here thank you spirit bottom of the deck we have the temple path and so if you look here this is literally where weddings and proposals take place so i am seeing here with 12 um that there is someone that looks at you as you know that cosmic companion uh, as that divine counterpart, as someone that they could build with, like the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Uh, this is someone that definitely is seeing you in a different perspective, in a whole new light. And if you look, there's lights all over. So I do feel like, you know, the lights are representative of like your angels. Um, there's a presence that's drawing the two of you together, that's aligning the two of you. So I am getting a sense, even if this is your own angels and guides, or if this is something or someone that you are manifesting or someone that's manifesting, you I am getting a sense of like this being um, you know a very um, sacred connection which will lead to commitment uh, proposals weddings um, and this is like that happily ever after I am definitely getting a sense like things are going to spiral um, positively it's like it's a positive uh, outcome that occurs this 12 also shows uh, that someone has taken the necessary time to reflect, to really look at things from a different perspective. Um, and now they see that you've reached a level of self-mastery because that 12 uh, is associated with the hangman, but it's also uh, reduces to three, which is associated with the empress. So that's that person that may uh, feel like a wish fulfillment or feels like you are a wish fulfillment um, and you are very attractive. And we have um, Frankie Beverly and Mays. And this is before I let you go. So, you know, someone has to let another person go. Remember, we had Prince singing somebody, somebody. So someone that you're attracting to you could be attached um, to another person. And they have to let this person go before they could come towards you. With Frankie Beverly, someone could be uh, from Beverly, Massachusetts. Someone could be named Frank or Frankie. Um, with Mays, I feel like this has... This has been almost like a runner chaser was is what I'm getting, but I also feel like there was a lot of complications. If you look here in the in the ground, it looks almost like a maze. It looks almost like you know like a spiral. Um, so it has been something that's um, 
it's been a journey, you know, for the two of you to get to this place. Uh, but I feel like it's because uh, there was a lot of work that you both had to do separately in order for you to come back into union. So what we have is strategy. What did I say? I was picking up on a maze. I was picking up on a journey. And this is someone is strategizing. Someone is mapping out a plan because with before I let you go playing, um, I feel like someone uh, has to be very strategic in how they, they depart from a former person because they could be dealing with someone that could be very volatile or very negative or they could just merely be dealing with a karmic because this is the number eight and eight deals with you know karma what goes around comes back around but it also deals with strength so they could be really mustering up the strength and strategizing a plan a foolproof plan um, to make sure that you know everything works out uh, you know accordingly and there is a feather here so someone may have recently found a feather maybe you all are finding feathers I spoke to finding a feather earlier but I do feel like someone's angel is is guiding them they're being guided uh, and I was picking up a sense you know because this 8 and this 21 reduces to 11 and remember we just saw 11 carnucopia and I was feeling like you know you and someone you're attracting to you this is you know one half of the 11 11 which is associated with the twin flame your person is um, you know kind of uh, cutting the karmic cords to a karmic uh, and they're being very strategic but they're being led by their angels and their guides so they may be getting those divine downloads those divine synchronicities that we saw earlier uh, because now they realize that something is done done Finn 21 is associated with the world card so this is someone that you uh, have been you know um you have not been communicating with this person or there's someone that is at a distance they may feel distance emotionally or maybe just physical distance but i do feel like this is someone that um may hold the key to your heart or maybe they feel like you hold the key to theirs because there is a key here uh and keys always denote also like um you know having the key to opening up um the doors, the doors of opportunities, the doors of, you know, whatever could have been uh, locked. Maybe they felt locked out. They have the key to your heart. So maybe this is someone that feels, um, you know, like there's uh, this this greater uh, connection with you. Um, I also get a sense of like this person really uh, seeking. They're like seeking to provide uh the truth. I feel like they want to speak the truth, uh, but I do feel like there's this sense of, you know, trying to make some sort of difficult decision uh, because that 11 breaks down to two, even though it's a power number. Um, they're trying to make this decision, and I feel like that's why their angels are kind of like, you know, surrounding them or showing up, you know, to kind of aid them in this process uh what you also have is you have the seventh chakra archangel uriel i can't make it up so this is number 41 that's five so this is definitely someone um who has remember we opened up the reading with 14 which was five and so now we have this five so this is someone that has had to learn had to grow um with this 11 and this 41 that's seven so this is someone that's definitely um you know, kind of like trying to assert themselves, uh, someone who has found some sort of ba balance or some sort of emotional equilibrium, um, just equilibrium, period, because maybe they were in, uh, you know, a connection that caused um, them to feel out of balance, to feel out of harmony with themselves, because that's what a karmic relationship will do. Um, Things are not as fluid. Things don't flow uh, because it's almost like you're forcing something. Someone's trying to overpower you or control you or manipulate you. So that's not a relationship of love, um, especially if there was entanglements, especially if someone was dealing with someone who um, was volatile because I heard the word volatile. So 8 and 21, that's 11. And as I said, that 41 and 11, that's seven. So someone is now, you know, picking up on those divine downloads. Um, as I said, you and this person do mirror one another because I was seeing where you were very psychic and in tune and tapped in. And now you are also attracting someone or something that is also um, very in tune and tapped in. And this is an angel, which is uh, assisting this person, just as I said, because there is a feather here. So this angel is helping someone to strategize and map out a plan to exit a relationship uh, that is not um, healthy um, and also that they no longer um, need to be a part of. Uh, what we have now is we have um, Kendrick Lamar, and this is called Mother um, Sober. 
And so maybe someone had some addictions, afflictions. Someone could have been dealing with um, a devil. You know, that devil energy is someone that's very uh, conniving, manipulative, um, very jealous, envious type of energy as well, controlling, very beguiling, um, speaks with a forked tongue, and someone had to really trust their intuition. There was many signs and synchronicities. Um, and now someone is finally, um, you know, kind of making the decision to move away because the seven that this breaks down to is like the chariot. So someone could be like a cancer, someone could be um, a water sign as I was picking up, or someone could just simply be, you know, moving away, taking, um, taking their power back asserting themselves, poking out their chest, and, and making the decision to, to leave a situation that is no longer serving their highest good, and their intuition has um, encouraged them to do so. So what we have here is this 12 temple path. So this is how they feel about you. We're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. So with love partnership, they could envision marriage. They can envision, you know, this happily ever after. This is also 11 here because you got 8 and 12. That's 3. So this is that same person because you got 8 and 21. So you both are mirroring one another. You see how you got 8 and 21. And now you have this 8 and 12. So this is someone, this is the 1111. This is twin flame yin yang energy. This is a cosmic companion. This could be a, a past life love. You know, this is someone that will feel like a past life love if it isn't someone that you know from the past or from a former lifetime. Um, but this is definitely someone that now sees you um, as you are. They see you as that divine feminine, that divine masculine. They see God in you. Um, they can see themselves um, marrying you. They may envision this. This is someone that could be also, you know, strategizing how to propose because this 21 and 12 is interchanged or, you know, it's interchanged. So this is like, this is what they're strategizing, like how to approach you and not just approach you to waste your time, but approach you and commit to you, approach to you. I mean, approach you and be intentional. Um because they love you, you know, someone has this grand epiphany, like they love you. So let's tap in. So why is love partnership here for my beloved Scorpio, for how this person feels, for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is love partnership here? Thank you, spirit. I can't make this up. And we have angel of balance. So your angels are working behind the scene, you know, very steadfast, you know, to help, you know, um, bring about some balance this financial constraints is reverse i don't really read reverse but i do feel like with financial constraints someone is definitely um you know maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer you uh maybe they feel like you um you know maybe they feel like you are someone who um you know has your stuff together and you know they may not have what you need uh but i do feel like if you are struggling Financially, like something is at a death, like something's ending um, in terms of your finances. Like if you are struggling financially, like there is a blessing that's coming in. Things are going to be stabilized. Things are going to um, improve is what I'm picking up. But, you know, maybe someone is trying to get their money right. That's why there could be, you know, the strategy here. Uh, because if you're coming out of a relationship nine times out of ten, all of your money all of your bills everything is intertwined so that's why it's requiring strategy that's what someone is trying to be so you know smart and 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 about the situation not to mention someone could have been dealing with someone that is very volatile um because when i get sober um i hear addiction so someone could be you know finally um healing uh you know uh because that devil is about addictions and afflictions as i said it could also be incubus succubus it could be uh codependency uh so you know maybe that's what caused someone to really um struggle financially is because they were uh making poor decisions uh because they were under the influence um so this could be the reason why maybe some of you all may have left or walked away from a relationship because of finances. But we also have this eight, I mean, this 33 and um, this says door to romance. So this is how someone feels. And remember, we also had this 33 and I was telling you that there was some good news that was coming in. Um, I was feeling exciting news. So we have this 33 and this definitely remember I was speaking to a key and there's a key here. And I was saying someone feels like they have the key to your heart or the key to open up the doors. So you see how there's this lock and then there is a key here. So someone, you know, that feels like 
you know, they hold the, the key to your heart is approaching you. Someone is definitely, um, I feel like they misjudged you also. Maybe they saw you as someone who was like a burden. You know, maybe they didn't see your worth, your value. And it's like now they're wide open. You know, now they see all of this potential, all of this possibility. What we have is 44. They also feel like you're very guarded. You see how she's like holding her heart away from someone. And that's that same energy of 26. So again, you know, that eight is giving me like the eight of cups. You know, the eight of cups is when you walk away from relationships that no longer serve your highest good. Or when you feel like you're emotionally bankrupt because you've been given and given and given and not getting anything in return. So you've learned to protect yourself. You've learned to love you, prioritize you. And so that's how someone may see you. They're realizing now after you've walked away or after you've um, left the situation, um, you know, maybe you left them behind. Maybe you stopped communicating with them because remember, their energy is like, you know, distance. They feel distance. They feel like there's this this void, you know. Um, and I feel like you've been very focused on loving yourself. That's why that self-discipline was showing up as well um, because that's about self-love, self-worth, self-value. And maybe that's something that you didn't always display was that self-discipline. But self-discipline is all-encompassing of all of the aforementioned self-love, self-worth, self-value. Um, so you are now, you know, someone that really, they see you as someone that loves themselves, that really prioritizes themselves. With this eight and this four, that's 12, that's 11, let me see, three, 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 wow. So this is all reducing to 26, which is 8. So someone does now see you as a wish fulfillment, but they also feel like you're guarded. You know, they feel like you're very guarded. You're protecting your heart. Uh, with this angel of balance, I am seeing like your angels are telling you, um, you know, or assisting you, I should say, with, with you know, balancing and bringing you uh, back into equilibrium. We have Angela Winbush. And as I'm speaking of Angel, we got Angel playing by Angela Wimbush. Some of you all could be dealing with someone named Angel or Angela. Um, I definitely am getting a sense of like um, you now coming into harmony, coming into union um, with someone uh, that is also going to be on the same uh, spiritual path. You know, someone that's also learned very similar lessons because the 78 breaks down to 15, which is six. And that six is associated with the lovers. Um, I feel like you could feel this person coming in. You may be having dreams about this person. You may just feel energetically, you know, something is changing and shifting in your surroundings. I do get a sense of also uh, someone after, you know, going through some sort of sacrificial um pause you know because the hangman this is 12 this breaks down to 12 the 48 so it's like that's like someone who was forced into the sacrificial uh position to look at things for what they are and what they discover is that um you bring balance you know you bring harmony you ground them um you make them feel grounded you make them feel um you know, in harmony, you know, this, this, this beautiful spiritual union. And, you know, you may also share similar interests. You may go into business together. Um, but I get a sense of you aligning with your purpose and your person all at the same time. So let's tap in. Why is the 78 spiritual career here for my beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck now we have the angel of love. So your angels are absolutely conspiring behind the scenes to bring you love. Four is the vibration because it's 49 breaks down to 13, which is four. So four is the vibration of that yin yang, that twin flame energy, 1111. So this is your twin flame because you both have 1111 here. Um, um, you know, on your in your energy. Look at that. Carnucopia. I can't make this up. So you're gonna be very successful. Um, in your spiritual career, Scorpio, because it's like you've learned to, uh, you know, to not only master your craft, but it's like whatever you experienced, whatever lessons you've learned, it's like you've learned to apply them in your lessons or in your teachings. Um, you're helping others to heal themselves because every great healer had to first heal themselves. So you're helping others to heal themselves. 
and you, it's like you're lighting you know a thousand candles with your one candle and this is what's leading to this carnicopia so the seeds that you've sowed whatever you've been doing um because i get this this tireless energy like you've been really grinding um you've been really putting boots to the ground you've really been um you know very uh very um determined you know to to achieve your goals to acquire some level of success and i feel like what's hidden is you don't realize that there are some answers to your prayers there's some blessings that are coming in and this angel of love is also um you know bringing love i was picking up like emotional fulfillment in addition to financial fulfillment and i absolutely see that here so it's like even if you were going through financial constraints i do feel like because that is a 13 that's a death i feel like it's the end of that because spirit sees how much you have been working how tirelessly how you know much effort you've been putting towards uh pursuing your goals achieving your goals um and you didn't get discouraged even when things got hard uh you didn't you never got discouraged you didn't turn into a vengeful person even when you uh your your trust was betrayed i see that you just stayed focused stayed the course and that's why there's you know a happy ending here that's why i feel like you got some good news coming in i feel like if you all have been waiting for news from a job or waiting for news for a loan waiting for news about a, a house or you know uh, whatever it is i feel like there's some good news coming in and this angel of love is also very instrumental in aligning you with your person. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection wise, the 63. Thank you, spirit. And we have Archangel Gabriel. So look at that. We got Archangel Gabriel. Remember, communication is here. So there's 333 here. So some of you could be seeing 333. That's also a sign. That's a sign of your, um, that's like the Ascended Masters is associated with the um, number three. So you've definitely uh, are protected. I feel like you have a lot of angels that are working in your favor, working around the clock to bless you. There's communication that's coming in. Um, I feel it's good news. I also feel someone... Uh, very volatile could also be trying to come in and bait you but this is the end of a cycle a tough period don't allow yourselves to get pulled and sucked into uh, some nasty debate nasty arguments back and forth with someone because they have nothing better to do um, any attention is good attention to an attention whore so just be mindful of that Ashe. so what we have is we have this uh, 53 that's number eight and this is magician in the mirror and remember for what you're attracting to you we had that eight manifestation so this is showing um that this is the person that is manifesting you this could also be speaking to you you know really honing your skills gifts and talents and really um utilizing those elements around you you know as above so be so below as within so without and as i said with that eight and eight uh, maybe you all have been working on manifestation rituals during that 8-8 portal. I feel um, you definitely will have um, several opportunities during this month to utilize that 8-8 portal. Uh, just as you had several opportunities last month to utilize that 777 portal, you will have the same during this month. So you had 888. Uh, which was a couple of days ago. Then you have 817 and then you have 826. So utilize those three periods, those three portals, um, you know, to to manifest, to draw in, to call in what you desire. Uh, because I absolutely feel like whatever you ask for, you shall receive it because you are a master manifester and alchemist. You see how he's utilizing this element of fire and water. So I feel like you not only are drawing in what you desire in terms of your spiritual career, your passions, uh, your desires, but you're also drawing what you desire in terms of love. Um, so you see that and look what also flew out. So you have a suit here, 45, 44. And remember, we saw synchronicity. So you are attracting someone in your likeness that speaks your love language. Because remember, we also had compassion here. And I was picking up on someone that spoke uh, your love language, someone that was like minded, someone that was on the same frequency, someone that will be attentive. And this is what flew out. So you have this beautiful energy of man holding a heart in addition to 
woman holding a heart. So you both are open to receive. You both have learned to love thyselves, to treat yourselves as, uh, you know, as, as you know, to know that you're lovable, you're worthy, you're deserving. And it's like now that you're open to love, you know, the doors of romance can now open up for you. And this 33 is associated with the six, the lovers. And remember, we saw that six love. That's how someone felt about you that was on the bottom of the deck. But there's going to be someone that expresses, communicates, or confesses their love, expresses their love. And this is very beautiful. You also have goddess of the moon. So this is something manifesting and materializing uh, behind the scenes. This could be someone that is a cancer because we also have the moon, which is associated with the cancer. But this is also saying trust your intuition. Uh, someone could be dreaming of another person. Someone could be thinking of another person um, a lot. This is what's hidden, you know, but this also speaks to what's manifesting, what's materializing. Someone could have manifested this during this last full moon. And we also have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So you have a few angels that have showed up. And I've expressed that you all are protected and you all have your angels working around the clock to bless you and to reward you. They're answering those prayers that you were sending up fervently because I was hearing fervently praying. And, you know, this Archangel Raphael really helps to heal you, um, really helps to, you know, helps you to navigate, um, you know, a lot of trauma and pain that you may have endured. Uh, he deals with the fourth chakra, which is associated with the heart. So your heart may have been broken in the past. And Archangel Raphael really helps you to heal and repair um, and learn to love yourself. And in doing that, now you're more um, receptive and open to receiving love. What we have now is we have Roy Ayers, and this is Vibrations. So I do feel like you are going to um, have some folks that are coming in with some very good vibrations, high vibrations um, on the same frequency. Uh, this is also 11. And remember, we saw 11, 11 earlier. And here's 11 again. We got 11 here. So again, you know, love and, you know, and uh, finances, uh, abundance, you know, success. You're going to be very satisfied, very uh, content with what your angels and guides are uh, providing you. So this is a very beautiful energy. Oh, wow. <laughs> this card dropped, and that's now Archangel um, Shamuel, third chakra. So I spoke to the third chakra, which is your solar plexus. And remember, this is what it is here. I was talking to the third chakra here. And see that? So I do feel like a lot of you took your power back. You know, a lot of you stood erect. A lot of you are, you know, stronger. You're more courageous. You're wiser. Um, you don't back down. You know, you trust your gumption. You trust your inner wisdom. So that's a beautiful energy to be in. I want to pick up on some, um, you know, what may be hidden behind the scenes. So I want to use the witch's wisdom. And then we're going to pull some messages from Goddess Guidance and uh, the Romance Angels just to see what else we got coming in, going out going on so we do have security here so some of you all may have just purchased security systems um maybe spirit is really telling you to uh be alert you know you know uh, there's a cat here a black cat some of you could own a black cat uh cats are impervious to threat so you know this is really another sign of like you know just trusting your intuition um you know and also making sure to maintain your boundaries uh what we have is watchtower so someone is watching you um it says watchtower of the west so someone that could live on the west coast someone that could live west of you um but spirit is telling you you know to maintain um your boundaries to be aware you know that there is someone watching you someone could potentially be trying to do some sort of uh candle magic or some sort of uh root work you know so just be mindful of that so divine spirit of peace power and protection because you know if this isn't on you this could be on the person that's coming in because i was picking up on devil energy earlier so divine spirit of peace power and protection what messages you have and what we have playing right now is wu-tang and this is called it's yours you know so something that's meant for you someone could be trying to block and that's why spirit is telling you to you know kind of like um 
Tighten up your security is what I heard. Tighten up your security. See, because you got someone that's this cloak is like concealed. So you have a hidden enemy. This is a secret enemy, hidden enemy. This is someone that um, is definitely. Um, this is like someone trying to manipulate your energy in some way. They could even be trying to block a blessing. You got prosperity here. So be mindful of that. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Cut the deck. Thank you, spirit. I cut my deck three times. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. So you have watchtower of the south. So you may live in the south. You may deal with someone that may be um, on the south side. Maybe this is someone, um, you know, um, like I said, that's just watching you. And this says summer, you know. So something may be revealed during the summertime. That's what's blossoming. Whatever this is, this new beginning is happening during the summertime. It's happening during the summer months. It's like someone is watching you. Whoever this is that's watching you, it's like, you know, because there's a sunflower here. And so that sunflower um, is very, you know, the sunflower, it actually follows the sun. Like it will move to be, you know, to to um, align itself with the sunlight. So this one, this person may see you as someone that's um, very, you know, happy. You know, you, you're, you're very, um, it's like you have an addictive type of energy. Like they're addicted to your energy. Or they, you bring happiness. You bring joy. Um, they feel that you're, you know, very strong, you know, very wise. Is the sense of vitality, adoration. They think of you as a star because I see several stars in the sky as well. So it's like this is that same person that feels you are a wish fulfillment. What we have is invocation on the bottom of the deck. And I'm about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. And so I was picking up that someone may have had some sort of codependent connection or a toxic individual, a karmic that could be trying to do binding spells or maybe a domination spell. And we have invocation. So there could be four people that are of significance that could be trying to invoke some sort of energy or invoke some sort of power. And we have the strategy and the archangel Uriel here. Uh, which is helping this person navigate the situation. That's why the angels are showing up. Because someone is doing rituals. Someone's doing something uh, perhaps to block someone from um, block someone from leaving or block someone from coming towards you. This is very interesting. And we have Oshun yet again. So this is that person that's attracted to you and drawn to you. But there is this energy of someone um, that could be trying to run an interference. So the spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is this eight manifestation? Someone's trying to block someone's manifestation. That's why the angels are here and strategy was here. So that card flew out as long as that. See, I can't make this up. Containment. So someone is trying to contain someone by doing binding spells. The cauldron is what magicians and witches and warlocks use to cook up their recipes for their rituals. So we just saw ritual and invocation. So someone is definitely trying to um, do some sort of like binding spell or domination spell. This is that same person that loves you. This is the ace of chalice. It says fulfillment. So this is what you're attracting to you is um, you know, a fulfillment, uh, emotional fulfillment. This is someone that's giving you their cup of love. This is someone that's been healing. So even if someone is doing this, the angels are protecting this union. I was getting a sense of the angels conspiring uh, to bring you into alignment with someone. And this someone is someone very much um, mirroring your energy. So you both have learned similar lessons. So the same way you're intuitive and very in tune to energy and very protective and guarded, I feel this person is as well. They're coming in very intentional. 
This is someone very devoted. This is someone very committed. This is someone that's not afraid of love, you know, and, and they're willing to offer you their cup. And we have cycles and it says moon. So the moon has come out twice. So this could definitely be like a cancer or a fellow water sign. I definitely am getting a sense of like someone has gone through, um, you know, some sort of karmic cycle. And now they are manifesting new love, manifesting something new. That's what's materializing. This moon is speaking to what's being, you know, what's hidden. And we have Trey songs, and this is called Love Faces. So this person is uh, definitely attracted. I was getting that because we just had Oshun, and I was picking up someone very passionate and, and um, attracted to you. <sighs> someone <sighs> very attracted to you. Um, with that one, the one, the one is a very felicious number. So I just get like a male's phallus. So I was picking up a passion and fire and desire. And then we also had Rick James, uh, you know, ebony eyes. So if you, you know, this song here is, is showing, you know, these two really embracing, we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And so this is what they're feeling like. This is something they may be hiding. Maybe they're doing some sort of, you know, magic during the moon cycles. You know, maybe something will be uh, manifesting during the next full moon. This is like, you know, intuitively you feel this, you know this. I feel this person also communicates with you intuitively. Very psychic person, whoever this is. So what's on the bottom of the deck still, we have that cauldron concealment or containment rather. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection wise, 26, love partnership, 13, financial constraints, 33, rom um, romance begins, or the daughter romance, pardon me, and 44, woman holding a heart for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpio. And we have this awakening card here on the bottom of the deck, which is in bulk. And that's what's going to be, um, you know, that's what's sitting on the bottom. That's what's on the bottom of the deck for when we pull the card for what's hidden. So how they feel about you is we have imagination, air. So didn't I say someone thinks about you a lot? This is someone that's definitely like up in their head, dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, you know, thoughts of you constantly, you know, running across someone's mind. You live in someone's mind with love faces. If you were ever intimate with this person or if you ever shared a kiss or an embrace or if you ever like, you know, gazed into one another's eyes, this is something this person uh, dreams about this is something this person thinks about constantly they also desire to communicate with you someone may have air in their chart as well they could be um you know aquarius libra gemini this is also someone who sees that you're very uh wise like they feel that you're a very wise person which could be why i get a sense of like them um, really trying to strategize and be very intentional when they come in because they feel like you are um, you know, very, you know, very earthy, very grounded, very um, intelligent, you know, maybe emotionally as well. And you see how we have all of the um, four directions here. So they do feel you are well, you know, well versed, connected. They may see you as someone who's a master manifester as well. There's a witch also here. So they may see you as someone that manifests, someone that knows how to, um, you know, utilize that alchemical force. So with this awakening, there's definitely someone, you know, having this epiphany or someone has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. And that is the reason why uh, the spiritual career will take off because of whatever lessons they've learned. And not only will it take off, but it will be highly successful. This is like fruitfulness, abundance. This is a harvest. You know, this is business booming, thriving, expanding. This is beautiful. And if you look, there are two cows. So remember, I was picking up on like an earth sign and a fellow water sign. You know, it could be anyone. But, you know, these cows, maybe this is that person that was very proud or very stubborn. You know, they always felt like you were the one that got away or the yin to their yang. Because these cows almost look identical. 
So this could be that, that you know, spiritual bond, union, connection you have with this person. You know, because I was picking up with that synergy, the song Synergy. Um, like there was this, you know, very spiritual bond or a sacred connection that you share with this person with similarities, familiarities. And now someone is having this awakening. They're having this, you know, epiphany, this aha, like that's the one. Especially with 11, because remember I was also saying, you know, when I get double numbers, 11, 11, I mean 11, 33, 9, 9. I feel like that's the person you're attracting to you. Um... That is, you know, mirroring your energy. We even have 44 here, you know, and 44 is associated with the heart chakra. So this is definitely someone whose heart is now open. They're ready to love. They're ready to embrace love. They're ready to, um, they're ready to approach you, to be intentional. And now we have, um, I am, this is I am, and this is uh, India Irene. So with I am, it's like you know who you are. You know, it's like now you're owning it. There are no fears associated with who you are for what with for what your um, gifts may be. Maybe you tried to hide it in the past. Maybe you were one of those people who didn't want to let everyone know you read tarot or that you were spiritual or that you performed, you know, certain rituals or that you were, you know, someone who was into the occult or esoteric because you cared about how other people felt. Now it's like you're owning who you are and that's the reason why. Um, you're receiving this cornucopia because, you know, you didn't choose this. It chose you, you know, this isn't something that was your choice. This is something that um, you were called to do. So as I said, you're aligning with your purpose and in aligning with your purpose, you will also align, align with your person, you know, same as these cows are aligned, you know, so this is someone that will ground you and you them, someone that will keep you grounded. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. I also heard fruitfulness, abundance, you know, so thank you, spirit. Wow, you got a lot of messages here. Wow, I love it. Prosperity, beloved. So prosperity lies ahead for Scorpio. Scorpios have absolutely earned every, you know, bit of the success that's coming in. I've done readings for several people's. Uh, several people in the month of July and um, I just saw like you know their careers blooming you know really taking off and you know a lot of people wrote back saying yo I got a promotion I got a seven thousand dollar increase I just got you know um, hired for another job like people were really you know echoing that message so it's beautiful so what did I say about you being protected you being um, you know, guarded by your angels. You have this beautiful guardian here. And remember what I said about, you know, whomever is coming in, you're going to feel that sense of familiarity. This says familiar, you know, so someone that's coming in, what's hidden is you're attracting uh, not only your purpose, as I said, especially with the spiritual career, you know, this is something you are, um, it just feels like, uh, it's innate, you know, it's a gift that is, it comes natural, you know, um, it's, it's just something that you, it's like you are very skilled at it and it's very familiar. There's also a frog. I saw a frog in the month of July as well. And so this says guardian. So you may have a frog. Um, that visits you. This is like an ancestor, but I also feel your ancestors are the one that told you, trust your intuition. Maybe they helped you, uh, help to amplify your psychic, intuitive, telepathic, telekinetic, telekinesis, whatever skills you have, clairvoyant, clairaudient um, abilities. As I said, cats are impervious to threat. So a lot of you are very sharp, very sharp witted, sharp, you know, uh, very discerning, intuitive, but this is also. Uh, what you what skills you will be utilizing in your spiritual careers um, and this is something that you are very it just comes very natural a la natural and that's why you're going to reap uh, a lot of rewards in you know you pursuing this gift that's beautiful next card you have is you have power so what did I say about you all being very powerful owning your power standing your ground being very bold you know, not being afraid to take risks. So with witch's hat power, this is you learning that you are the alchemist. Remember, I also saw here, you know, that witch. And that's how someone perceives you. Someone sees you. 
you know, see that witch there? So it's like you know how to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. You know, those four directions are also associated, you know, with, you know, the four here. Um, even though there's more than four directions because you have above and you have below and you have within and without, you know, in addition to north, south, east, and west. So above, below, within, out, you know, um, are also uh, those directions. You got to add those as well. But yes, yeah, so this witch's hat, this is what's hidden is your power is intensifying, it's improving, it's increasing, it's amplifying. Um, you're definitely able to manifest your desired outcome. I am feeling like you are highly intuitive, very psychic. I also get a sense that, you know, um, you're aware of this. You know, you, you're becoming more aware of your power. And as you become more aware of it, then you can utilize it. But this is also you... Um, you know, being that that leader that I was picking up on, um, asserting yourself confidently. You also have the lady goddess, you know, and this is the feminine energy. So someone does see you, if you're feminine, um, you know, as that divine feminine. And this is a very attractive energy. She draws in what she desires. She manifests, you know, whatever she desires. She's very powerful. She's a creative. She births life. She births new ways of thinking. She births babies. You know, she births new projects. Um, this is just a very powerful energy. Um, as I said, someone can see God in you. Someone can see a goddess in you. Um, this is a very regal energy. Look at these cards. This is beautiful. With incubation, someone is literally um, still in that hermit mode, but they're growing uh, wiser. They're growing stronger. Um, this is showing, uh, you know, because the Astara in a former deck, in another deck, pardon me, is also associated with uh, the Divine Feminine. So I am getting a sense of like, this is showing how you have blossomed um, and bloomed into um, this beautiful Divine Feminine. Uh, so you went from, you know, going through that incubation process to now blooming, you know, see how that flower has bloomed and you now have this strong sense of love of thyself. And that's why you're seen as very powerful. Um, even if you're a divine masculine, um, the same thing is applicable. You've gone through um, tremendous disappointments, hurt and pain, but it was only to make you stronger. You know, um, next we have stability. So you've taken your power back. You're also embarking on new um, endeavors. Uh, this is you manifesting. You know, that staff is, you know, an instrument to manifest. So you're let absolutely like manifesting new opportunities. You're absolutely mirroring someone that's also um, a master manifester as well. Uh, because remember, whoever you're attracting to you is manifestation. And ooh, come on now, tree, don't fall on me. Um, so that's what you are uh, picking up. And we have scrying um, mirror and it says shadow. And if you look there, there's like a, an energy that's watching you. So be mindful uh, because I was picking up earlier like there was this devil energy that's kind of like watching your, your pockets, you know. Um, and this could be someone that's trying to, you know, block your blissings, sending you evil eye. Um, do a return to sender on that ass. Um, get yourself some hot foot powder and, you know, utilize that, incorporate that into your rituals um, to keep that energy at bay. Because there is someone that's attempting to do mirror magic um, and spell work. When you do a return to sender, use a mirror so that it could go right back on to sender and carve on your candle. Get a black candle, um, carve your name, your date of birth, and also write or scribe return to sender. <laughs> And uh, place that on a piece of foil if you don't have a mirror. If you have a mirror, that's better. Do not look into the mirror. Just put the mirror down. Um, make sure you cleanse everything. Create a, you know, a protective circle around yourself. But get a black candle because I feel like you need to do a return to sender because someone is definitely watching. And we did pick up on devil energy. Um, but just um, do that. And remember, you had security. So that means like spirit is telling you tighten up your security uh, because you may have some folks that are trying to manipulate your energy. I was picking up on a devil. And, you know, there's a reason for that. 
Nothing is by happenstance. Nothing is accidental. So with this energy here, just be mindful that you may have someone that could be, you know, trying to manipulate your energy or send you negativity. And as I said, the return to sender is simply a black candle. Um, you could get some sea salt, coarse sea salt. Um, you could um, get some uh, hot foot powder. I use a little bit of I'll use a couple of things, but I'll give you a couple of things you could use that you may have on hand. Get some um, coarse sea salt. Get you a black candle. Uh, as I said, cleanse your space. Uh, on that black candle, take like, um, I use a black tourmaline to carve onto my candles. Uh, so write your name. Write it upwards. Write your name and your date of birth. And also write return to sender. Place that candle, melt the bottom so that it could stay on your mirror. Remember, do not look into that mirror. Place the salt around it. Get a garlic clove. Uh, do an evil eye. Draw an evil eye on one of the garlic cloves. Place it right in front of uh, that black candle. Um, uh, also, scribe, return to sender, as I said. And then light your candle. Set in front of it. And uh, do your Psalm 59. Um, I would recite it three times. And then you could also set your own intention and speak what you want into that candle. Like, return to sender. Any evil eyes, anyone manipulating my energy or attempting to. You could say that I have a cloak of divine invisibility. You know, um, protecting me and my family. No harm shall befall me. Return back to sender. Any energy that does not belong to me. Return to its place of origin. Whatever. And, and three times, three times, three. But repeat that you know, um, several times and just send all that funky energy back to sender. Um, because I do get a sense of like someone really trying to manipulate your energy. Uh, and you know, this could be just jealousy. This could be envy. Uh, you know, cause this could be people who are in the same line of business or people who are pursuing the same, um, career endeavors. Um, this could be people at your job that's in a secret competition. So just protect yourself, you know, um, from all, you know, from all of that. But we do see regardless, spirit is blessing you. Prosperity lies ahead. And when your angels are for you, who the uck cares about who's against you? So focus solely on just protecting yourself and don't think twice about it. I'm not telling you to jump into fear mongering or worrying, being a worry ward. I'm just telling you protect yourself because the security card showed up, which means you have to be impervious to any threats that may lie ahead so if you stay ready you don't have to get ready you hate i'd hate for you to um you know be attacked in a way and then you gotta you know kind of recover from that so if you stay ready you don't have to get ready so i digress let's get our message for the outcome and then we're going to get some additional messages and then we're going to ride out all right so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection wise, the 63 parenting, 33 communication, 53 magician in the mirror, 45 man holding the heart, 52 moon, um, goddess of the moon. And okay, there goes a couple of messages there. I'm going to take those. And fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. See that? I told you. I told you the same energy is here. And this is a hidden enemy. This is someone that is very much in your face. Smiling and beguiling. This is someone that you're familiar with because they're in your energy and they are trying not to reveal themselves. But spirit is telling you, trust your intuition, you know, definitely trust your intuition because, you know, everybody that smiles in your face aren't your friends, you know, and I feel like this is someone that definitely has ulterior motives. This is someone that could have definitely turned their back on you. But they're still, you know, focused on you. How you going? Like, it's like somebody that could have turned their back on you, dissed you, um, betrayed you deceived you maybe they abandoned you rejected you in the past and then they got an attitude because you're not putting up with their nonsense because you may have established boundaries so whoever this is they got a chip on their shoulder this is a hidden enemy this is that person that's doing that um domination um ritual or some sort of hex spells witchcraft voodoo juju hoodoo black magic this is that person because it's right next to the book of shadows and secret i just told you you had a hidden enemy and secret is running right, under, right underneath that and this person they are cold-blooded this is somebody that is very very vile very volatile and they watch you they watch they watch you like religiously you know they are definitely um obsessed i'm getting obsessive uh personality i'm getting um possessive this could be like a karmic x because i was getting with that 93 um i mean that 63 like a parent like you know the mother or father to your child or someone that is in a secret competition maybe you had a narcissistic uh children's mother children's father or a narcissistic mother or father 
and they are like a hidden enemy. They do not want to see you do well, especially when you're not with them, especially if they can no longer manipulate and puppeteer. Um, so they, they are very vengeful, very hateful energy. So what's hidden, I mean, what the outcome is, security. As I'm speaking to security, look at that. Spirit is telling you, tighten your security. I can't say this enough. And that's the same, that same black cat that came out for what's hidden. So this is the same black cat. So your angels and your guides, your guardians are protecting you. But they're also telling you to protect your energy as well. You know, so protecting your energy is simply not engaging. You know, because it's already trying to bring you to drama, bring you to madness. And it's like protect your energy by not engaging. You know, don't you got to ig the ignorance. So definitely um, maintain boundaries. Definitely. Um, Keep the distance from someone, you know, definitely don't let anyone anger you because whoever angers you controls you. And we have Donnell Jones, this love, focus on the love you have for yourself and also focus on the love. Look at this. We got invocation. Someone's trying to manipulate your energy. Someone's trying to invoke some type of negative energy. And there's four people. So you got four haters. So you need to like literally I was picking up on doing a return to sender and um, you know, you definitely might need to do that. You know, you definitely might need to do that. But you have a lot of angels that are around you. And if this isn't your energy that someone's trying to manipulate, they're trying to manipulate someone's energy that's coming in. Because remember this, you know, man holding a heart is in the outcome. So this could be, you know, four people. Because this card did come out, ritual did come out when we were speaking to the person that you're attracting or who or what you're attracting. And it said ritual. So someone was doing a ritual and I feel like it could be attached to whomever you're attracting to you. So they could have some sort of witch, you know, some sort of, um, you know, practitioner trying to manipulate their energy, trying to do, dom I heard domination spells, trying to dominate another person. But protect yourself because you could be... Um, if this is someone that's meant to come into your life, you could be attacked by default because whomever this person is coming towards that, whatever they're doing to invoke whatever it could, you know, it could definitely hit you by default. So tighten up your security. I kept hearing tighten your security. And this is a sealed person, concealed person. So this is, this is definitely, um, Someone wearing a false mask, a very deceptive energy, very hateful. I just get a stank, nasty, volatile, bile energy, just disgusting energy. It's a nasty, volatile energy that I'm picking up on. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let's get some messages from, let's do, let's do this. Let's do so we got the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. And this is the uh, African-American tarot. So the nine of pentacles shows your hard work paying off. You being preoccupied, doing, you know, handling your business, keeping your eyes on the prize, keeping your eyes, you know, having that eye of the tiger. You know, you can see like he's just working very diligently. And this leads to, you know, self-sufficiency and stability and security. Um, very abundant, very fruitful. There's a king of cups here. Remember, I was picking up on a cancer. That's that energy of the cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio even. Um, definitely a beautiful energy of someone that is like, you know, they, they, he's holding what appears to be like a rock, you know, um, to me. So this is someone that's wanting to come in and, and uh, be supportive be your rock someone devoted someone that loves you know look at that ace of wands this is that person that really loves you very attracted to you this could even be your energy you know reaching that level of self-mastery being more emotionally in tune being more emotionally intelligent and loving thyself you see that chalice so remember we had the chalice and you see how he's holding a chalice you know so willing to give this chalice and i've never seen like you know the king of cups smiling and on this deck you know, the King of Cups is smiling. So it's almost as if, you know, this person has had like some sort of grand epiphany of what they want. Or, you know, there's this like this new start, this fresh start. Remember, we had one new beginning here for the overall energy. 
and you got this so there could be a new start in love because someone could be coming in to be you know to to be solid to be rock solid to you know be more devoted more intentional and remember we had donnell jones someone's name could be donnell jones or d or j i'm hearing dj but with this love this is someone that's going to come in and offer you love this is a fresh start and this is all because you learn to love yourself when you love yourself you know, that makes you more attractive. So Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection, what messages do you have? So this card wants to jump out. I'm going to let it. And we have that Ace of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. So that's that, uh, you know, that guarantee of a fresh start, a new beginning. So what flew out is we have this Knight of Pentacles. So someone coming in, you know, who's taking their time because they want to get it right. Uh, this also speaks to, you know, like generous offers, abundance. You know, this is like you uh, kind of like stamping your, you know, uh, how do I say? It's like whatever you are working on, it's like it's assuring some sort of success because it's like you're, you're, you're making it a priority to, to really... To really build your skill set. It's like you're not just rushing into anything. It's like you're taking your time to get it right. Because you know good things take time to create. So you're not doing that 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 microwavable-ish. It's like you're really building your wealth of knowledge. You know, you're really mastering your craft. You're really honing your skill. And with that comes some sort of prosperity assured and it's like i feel like there's something that changes this summer before the summer is out you're going to receive like perhaps generous offers you know maybe there is um as i said like business deals maybe some business loans maybe getting approvals on you know a mortgage maybe purchasing a new um rental spot whatever it is it's like there, there's abundance. There's a plethora. This is that blossoming abundance. And this is spirit, you know, showering you with it. So the blossoming abundance. And here is the, the generous offers, the rewards, the recognition, you know. And it's because, like, spirit is watching and seeing, you know, just how um, determined, how driven you were. That's beautiful. I love it. This is also someone coming in. You know, that wants to build that nucleus, someone coming in very, uh, very intentional, very devoted. This is a very practical and resourceful energy. And we also have um, Donald Jones now singing, he won't hurt you again. So this is someone that is familiar with your story because who or what you're attracting to you. This is someone that's telling you, you know, you won't be hurt again. You know, maybe this is someone that hurt you in the past, maybe disappointed you. And they're saying, I won't hurt you again. And they're offering you this love. I was picking up someone being very strategic, um, you know, and that's why, you know, this Knight of Pentacles, because the Knight of Pentacles is very strategic. You know, he's he makes sure to, you know, to um, to plan, you know, to strategize, to prepare before he takes action. That's why it takes him. A while to take action because he wants to make sure um, that it's the right course of action and with the knight of pentacles next to that one which is the new beginning I do feel that one does give that extra push you know but with this ace of wands here again uh, this is definitely someone that is um, very smitten you know so divine spirit of peace power and protection why is this eight manifestation 21 strategy 41 Archangel Uriel Chalice and the moon here for who our beloved Scorpios are attracting and we have this page This page of Pentacles. So this is someone that wants to make an offer. This is like a new offer So I do feel like this is a new like This is something new for you and this person Like this isn't someone that you were in a relationship with before or you dated before I feel like this is someone that maybe you know, you were acquaintances, maybe there was attraction, maybe you felt chemistry, maybe you felt that synergy, but it never went further than that. And now this is like, you know, you and this person, perhaps, you know, this person 
making an offer. This is like a new opportunity at love. There goes the moon yet again. The moon came out three times. Some of y'all are dealing with cancers. This is someone that's been like kind of hiding. You know, this is like a, a very reserved person. They could be very... Um, this is someone that lives in their head a lot. <clears throat> and my throat is getting blocked. So they don't know how to really emote either. It's almost like they are afraid to kind of express their feelings. You know, they have difficulty expressing feelings, expressing love, expressing um, how they feel. Maybe that's that was, uh, you know, kind of like what hindered the connection in the past. It's like this person was very, um, you know, intimidated by you. And I feel like it did lead to tower moments. I feel like you've experienced many tower moments. And this person also experienced tower moments. But this person dreams of you at night a lot. I feel like this person dreams of you at night. This person could be very nocturnal. And with Joey Badass, this says where I belong. They feel like they belong with you. Like the two of you belong together. And that's why this person may, you know, be trying to figure out how to make this offer. Maybe this person was coming off very immature in the past, maybe emotionally so. And that could have turned you off, led to you walking away or led to this the breakdown. But I do feel like this person thinks of you a lot. I feel this person is very intuitive as well. So they, they know you're intuitive, so they send you a lot of psychic messages, intuitive messages, telepathic messages. They may astral travel and visit you if they're skilled in that regard. What we have is that page of pentacles. So this is someone I feel you're familiar with also. Maybe you worked with this person in the past. Maybe you lived around this person. I do get a sense of like familiarity. Why is 26 love partnership 13 financial constraint 33 daughter romance 44 woman holding a heart and this air imagination here for how this person uh, Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them. And we have the king of swords. So if you look here, the, the sword is down and this is going to be what's hidden in the energy when we pull the card so what we have is temperance so good things take time to create i do get a sense of this person you know really um you know trying to gauge uh your attitude trying to gauge how you feel maybe this person is you know imagining or making up in their mind um that you are going to be very aggressive or attitudinal or maybe they think that you are um going to be very cold or you're going to scold them um so this is just them like needing to, um, you know, find, you know, uh, find that confidence, you know, or that courage to approach you with temperance. They do see that uh, you have really um, you've been working on like really healing yourself like you've been on this journey, this voyage uh, to really healing yourself, to really nurturing yourself it's like they see something new in you because this temperance is really like good things take time to create so it's take it's taken some time for this to come full circle i feel like they also had the wrong attitude about you or they perceived you in the wrong way we have queen latifah um latifah's had it up to here so remember, I was picking up like they may see you as very, you know, someone that might scold them. So, you know, with they had it up to here. Maybe they are familiar with your story. Uh, maybe, you know, that's why they perceive you as someone that walked away um, because, you know, maybe now you're more focused on loving yourself. You know, especially with the way you're holding this heart. It's like you definitely have established boundaries with Latifah's had it up to here. Maybe they feel like, you know, and, and this is Queen Latifah. So now you're 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 like. You know your worth and your value now. You want to be treated like the royal, you know, divine, feminine, divine, masculine that you are if you're a king. Also, it's like you now know who you are. You're thinking more logically. You're not just like thinking from emotion or reacting from emotion. And this is like temperance. So maybe they're seeing now that you have kind of like um, you have you have kind of like your, your demeanor has uh, become more calm. You know, you're not as fiery as you may have been in the past. But they do know that you're fed up with uh, being disappointment. You're fed up with the games, the lies, the trickery. You're fed up with the, you know, the um, the foolery. 
And so that's why they could be kind of like, you know, strategizing, knowing that they have to be very intentional, knowing that they have to come in on the right foot like, of, of wanting commitment, you know, because you're not playing games. And I feel like this communication coming, someone expressing something. Because there's a sun, you know, right there. And I feel like the sun is giving this king of swords clarity. You know, and not only is it giving them clarity, but it's also allowing them, you know, if this is a king, um, that person I was picking up that has this volatile energy attempting to do like witchcraft on them or voodoo, doo, doo, hoodoo, spell work on them. It's like they are seeing something very clear and, you know, they're going to cut themselves free from this codependent, toxic, volatile energy. They're like cutting themselves free because they have the clarity and with that feather remember that same feather is on the card for who you're attracting to you and you see how that same feather is here strategy and they have it now up in the crown chakra so it's like that's the same energy of them getting the divine download from their angels to protect their energy to protect their peace someone is having it up to here so they're tired of the games they're tired of the you know manipulation the back and forth the arguments you know they're tired of it. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 78? Spiritual career, 11. Carnucopia, familiar. Um, witch's hat, lady goddess. Ostara, um, incubation. The staff, stability, and the scrying mirror for what's hidden. And we have the fool. So someone wants to take that leap of faith. This is someone who also feels foolish because they could have, you know, this is someone that could have um, been chasing tail and it led to them a, you know, contracting some sort of spiritual transmitted disease. They could get could have got caught up with an incubus, a succubus energy. You know, this is definitely someone who is like flighty, non-committal. So this is what someone was dealing with. This is a very toxic energy. This is that player player from the Himalayas also. And we have this fool. So they feel foolish because they took a risk with someone that was not even committed. You know, this is someone that's just like in it for the passion, in it for the fun, and then they just disappear. Very immature energy, irresponsible. This is the type of person that would go out and, and have sex, un, like unsafe sex, you know. They don't strap up. They don't, you know, it's just like this is somebody that's just in and out of different women, different, you know, getting, good Lord, just, just a nasty negative energy. But with this here, you know, this is a someone who feels very foolish, you know, but this is also, you know, someone that uh, learned, you know, they're starting back at zero. Um, that is the starting point. So they're getting back to one. They're learning, you know, from their mistakes. I want to get one more card. So, yeah, justice. So someone was dealing with a karmic and they also received karma because Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. I feel like this is someone that's ready and prepared now to shoot their shot because they're turning. It's like they're turning a new leaf. And if you look, there's a feather again in this person's head. So I do get a sense that someone is trusting their intuition and being led in the right direction. Their angels, their guides, their guardians, their spirit team, their ancestors are leading them in a new direction and they're trusting their intuition. Hence that star that's right on the first eye of this cat. So this is like double, triple amplification of intuition because cats are already intuitive and they also teeter between the spirit realm as well as this earthly realm. And so this is someone that's definitely, um, you know, being guided, you know, their ancestors um, are kind of like, you know, really, I feel like um, conspiring to help them see something. But this is also getting your just due. You know, your just due is to receive rewards and recognitions for your hard work. Your just due is to come into, you know, a union with your divine counterpart, if, especially when you've worked very hard um, to achieve this level of self-mastery. And look what's playing yet again. We got Angel, Angela Winbush, yet again. I must have it in my playlist twice. So Angel is playing. And the name of this song is um, Sharp. So your angels, you know, helped you to sharpen your sword, you know, your sword that is, you know, the sword is very indicative of, you know, the truth. Um, it also allows you to cut yourself free from the illusions, you know, so it's like now someone is, is seeing things very clearly, but the angels have stepped in the guardians, the guides, you know, justice is being served. 
You're going to get your just due. And whoever was doing voodoo juju hoodoo on you or whomever you're attracting will also get their just due. And we have this, um, what is this, the Knight of Cups. So be mindful. That's why Spirit was telling you um, to trust your intuition, to use discernment because somebody may be trying to man emotionally manipulate you. You know, especially with invocation and security. And remember, we had that volatile energy. You know, and this could be someone that is just like, you know, the the same person that just talks because they have lips. You know, this is somebody that just, you know, they literally speak with a forked tongue. They don't they don't mean anything they say. Um, everything they say they're going to do, you don't see no action behind it. So just be mindful to, to not get duped by, you know, this very immature energy. Why is 63 parenting, the 33 communication, 53 magician in the heart, 55 man holding a heart, 38 archangel Raphael, 52 goddess in the moon, witch's cottage, the security and the ritual invocation cards here for the outcome. And we have the four of wands. I can't make it up. So this person... That I already called was your twin flame, soulmate, cosmic companion, your divine masculine. This is who's coming in. That's what this is all about. The four is the vibration of 1111. This is a twin flame, soulmate, spiritual union. That's why Synergy opened up the reading because you are coming back into harmony or coming into harmony with someone that is on your frequency, someone that speaks the same love language i feel like your angels and guides as i said have conspired to bring this person in because you are worthy you are lovable you are deserving um you have an emperor here so this could be that you know volatile baby mama or baby daddy you know that could be you know very look how angry and you know perturbed he appears to be so this is someone that just you know feels like like they can just do what they want. They don't have to take responsibility for their actions. You know, even the animals look angry. You know, the lion looks upset. The, 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 I ain't never seen an elephant mad. You know, so it's just like this is somebody controlling. You know, and because you have taken your power back, because that's really what it's all about. You took your power back. Where is that power card? Where is the power card? We just saw power. So you took your power back from someone that could have been your children's mother, children's father. And this is why they are so volatile and angry. This is why they are um, vengeful and hateful because you're no longer falling for the okie doke. You're no longer allowing their manipulation to keep you distracted. You're aligning yourself with your person. As I said, this is the person that is meant to be in your life this is the person your angels are sending for you what you have also that flew out is you have the four of cups so now someone is feeling a missed opportunity this is someone that's definitely sick you know i, I i'm hearing sick in the head because you see how she's like you know checking their temperature so someone could be like mentally disturbed i'm hearing mental health matters so someone could really be like you know i'm hearing like they may have a personality disorder like narcissistic they may be a pathological liar um but whoever this is um they're definitely suffering the consequences i do feel someone may have had a child you know someone because i was picking up on someone um because we had new edition um playing um you're not my type of girl and so someone could have had a child with someone that, you know, was like the side piece, you know, because there's a baby here, you know, and now they're sick in the head because maybe, um, you know, the truth has come out, you know, you've received some sort of clarity, um, but they got what they gave, you know, and, and it's like, this is the energy they're in, enraged and angry. So this is like that children's father because i'm getting like a children's father or a children's mother even somebody that's just angry because you're no longer falling for the okie doke you no longer feel obligated to listen to their nonsense or to take their phone calls you ain't got no time for that like get out of here you know go talk to your baby mama your new baby mama or your new baby daddy like get out of here <laughs> like i don't have to i don't have to endure your headaches anymore so let's get some messages from romance angels and then we're gonna wrap it up Oh, shit. So we have express your love. Now, remember, I was saying somebody was coming in to do just that. So you have express your love here and then communication. So you should expect a message um, from someone that is already watching you. This could be a secret admirer. 
This could be someone I feel that you are familiar with because how would they watch you otherwise? I was picking up on someone you may know. So an acquaintance, someone you could have worked with, someone you could have lived around, someone you could have, you know, um, frequented the same gyms, the same you know, grocery stores, whatever. We have Luther Vandross, uh, Vandross, um, a house is not a home. So, you know, this is definitely um, showing that, you know, whatever situations you were involved in, um, that you was given and given and given and not getting back in return, um, it did not feed or nurture you to in the slightest. Uh, so whatever you invested, it's like you took a step back and started to really uh, focus on yourself. You know, that self-reflection and gaining that self-awareness and, and, you know, absolutely reaching that aha, that epiphany. Like, you know, um, this house that we live in and occupy together is in a home. Not only did you experience that, but whomever you're attracting has also experienced the same thing. Because, you know, they there's no happiness, there's no cohesiveness or the harmony, the peace, the love. It's, it's it's like it's it's dim that light is lit dim so someone's coming to you approaching you and it says go ahead and make that romantic gesture so someone is definitely going to make a romantic gesture and the angel is saying this is worth waiting for and as i said earlier i felt like they were conspiring behind the scenes to bring this love it says divine timing is at work in your love life and that's absolutely what i was picking up especially with temperance good things take time to create especially with this knight of pentacles who is very mindful to uh, take their time to get things right. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios from the Romance Angels deck? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beautiful angels. So we have separation. I can't make this up. Didn't I say someone had to separate? Someone had to, you know, leave a situation that was very toxic, codependent. I feel like you separated from things that were not serving you. Um, you created space and distance, and that's why you have this new beginning. Uh, we have time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So if you've already done that, this could be for whom you are attracting. So whoever you're attracting, especially with Luther Vandross saying a house is not a home, someone is having an epiphany that whatever they're involved in, it, is, it doesn't feel like love. It doesn't feel like a relationship. It feels more like a partner partnership like a contractual agreement um what we have here is true love so what you're attracting to you is what we're about to pull and it says true love so this is your true love hence this person being very strategic hence this person coming in very intentional very devoted um this is someone as i said that's been hiding this but this is also someone that's been sending you messages intuitively or telepathically knowingly or unknowingly uh because when you think about somebody so much it's like whomever you're thinking about they're going to start picking up on that energy so i feel like you may be you know picking up on the energy that someone's coming in or you know you may be having dreams of love or being in a partnership being in a relationship and that's because spirit is saying that that's in your um that's in your environment that's that's coming in that's in your energetic field so it says this is the romance of a lifetime so that's powerful so i was picking up like um you know, like a past life love when we saw that six lover or that six love. Um, so this could be, you know, that person coming back into your life. Or this is that person that when you meet them, you'll feel like you've known them um, for several lifetimes. So this is beautiful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is this eight manifestation, 21 strategy, 41 archangel, Uriel, chalice, the moon and the moon here. For who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. And it says trust. So this is definitely someone um, who has trust issues. I also feel like spirit is saying that it's going to it's going to call for you to trust. Um, you know, you're going to have to, you know, kind of let your guard down and not be so opinionated or be so um, judgmental about someone because whomever this is, it's like spirit is saying you can trust this situation because it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So whoever you're attracting to you, this person is coming in very um, honest, you know, very, uh, you know, very honest, very transparent and very intentional. Uh, and this is because your angels are the ones, you know, responsible for this union, as I said. 
So Spirit is saying, trust this situation. And we have getting to know each other on the bottom of the deck. So this is, we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. So they're gonna, they're very excited to get to know you. Even if I was picking up, like I said, like even if this is an associate or someone you are familiar with or someone you may have worked with or someone you may know, um, it's like you're going to be reintroduced to this person because it's been a while since you've spoken to this person or since you've heard from this person. And so it's like there's an opportunity for the two of you to really engage in some very stimulating conversation. Conversation. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And so that's where the synergy comes, uh, the chemistry, because that's where you start to di discover how much you have in common. That's where you start to discover those similarities and that familiarity. Um, and then you're going to be more open to, you know, giving um, to that situation opposed to pulling away from it. So that's beautiful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 26 love partnership, 13 financial constraints, 33 uh, romantic, uh, the daughter romance, 44 woman holding the heart, air, imagination, and temperance here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. And we have getting to know each other came right back out. So this person is definitely looking forward to getting to know you, to being reintroduced, reacquainted. I definitely see a lot of social gatherings. Um, maybe this person will invite you out to eat, invite you out to drink, invite you out to, you know, maybe a play or invite you out to a concert, invite you out to maybe a lounge. But I feel like it's not just going to be you and this person. Maybe there's going to be, you know, a setting of like... Um, it's like, you know, maybe there's a small group of friends gathering together and they may invite you to um, that gathering. But there's, this is a prime opportunity uh, for the two of you to, you know, really take those deep dives, to really, really um, delve deep into who the other is, you know, and, and don't like introduce representatives. A lot of people say, oh, you know, when you first meet someone, you're meeting their representative. And it's like, don't introduce anyone to a representative, be your authentic self. You know, that representative is just like wearing a mask. It's like being fake. It's, it's like, you know, putting on a facade. And it's like, what is the point of that when you've just experienced all that you have show up as your authentic self. And that's what they will appreciate. And I feel like that will also give them that that ability to, to you know kind of knock their walls down and show you them their authentic selves as well so it says forgiving and learning here on the bottom of the deck and it says as you release and heal the past your experience you experience pardon me more love in your present moments so as i said earlier when you forgive those who hurt you or when you accept apologies from those who may never have a um when you accept the apologies from people who may never have even apologized, it's like, or forgive those who may never have apologized. That's the way I said it. It's like, that is for you. When you hold on to the animosity and the regret, the regret and the resentment and the anger and all of that hostility and you have all this vengeance and you're scorned and you're bitter, that only weighs you down. And so when you forgive, it's like you are free. It's like you're, you're, you're lighter, you're more susceptible to ascending. And that's what I feel, you know, many of you have experienced in addition to whomever you're attracting. I feel that that's also how you have reached this level of self-mastery, um, you know, by, you know, becoming that divine feminine, uh, realizing your power, realizing your worth, your value, um, and standing in it, owning it and braving it, you know, braving your light. And uh, this always makes you more attractive. You can see the angels are here as well. And we already know you have guardians, you know, and so your guardians are definitely protecting you from potential threat. So why is the 78 spiritual career, uh, the 11 carnocopia familiarity or familiar um, guardian, witchcraft, power, love, goddess, uh, scrying mirror, astara, uh, incubation and stability, the Knight of Wands, and the Justice card here for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And that 11 is also associated. I forgot, this is your just due. Like, Spirit is telling you, like, you've earned this. This is for you. So what you have is give your relationship a chance. And it says, what uh, work on your partnership. So Spirit is telling you, whomever this person is, um, you will feel this sense of familiarity. And Spirit is saying, you could, you could trust this person. 
Like you can absolutely trust that this person is coming in for the right reasons uh, because, you know, your angels are, you know, giving the giving you all a second chance, I feel, because it says worth waiting for. So the angels are definitely all around you and this union. I feel like they're conspiring to bring you into alignment with someone that is like your twin flame, someone that's your cosmic companion. And this isn't no toxic karmic ex that had a baby behind your back or had a baby on you. Like this is this is someone that you had dope chemistry with, dope synergy, and you kind of kind of went your separate ways, but now you guys are coming back into union. What we have right here is we have <laughs> Casa Overall and it says halfway house. And so what I'm getting is, you know, from halfway, like this person is halfway out of that former circumstance, um, you know, and on their way towards you. And Spirit is saying it's worth waiting for. So, you know, that's what the patience is all about. Temperance is, you know, really, you know, taking the necessary time to heal, not rushing the process, knowing that good things take time to create and with give your relationship a chance. I do feel like you guys really, there's this, 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 this is familiarity. This is someone that... Um, you know, you know, this is, this is a beautiful, warm, remember I kept picking up like a warm embrace, you know, I kept feeling like, you know, you and this person may have embraced, there was a warm embrace or this person gazing into your eyes, a kiss, and this is showing just that. Um, this also is showing, you know, someone gazing into your eyes. Look at that chemistry. Look at the, 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 this, this harmony, you know, this is a beautiful energy. So why is the 63, uh, parenting, 33 communication, uh, magician in the mirror, 45, man holding the heart, 38, Archangel Raphael, goddess in the moon, four of wands, four of cups, ritual, invocation, and witch's cottage, secret here for the outcome, and we have playfulness. So you definitely have someone coming in. This is going to be someone that's going to bring, you know, bring out the lover in you, bring out that, that um, childlike energy. You know, I feel like you've been in a very um, serious space, like you've been very serious. You had to always keep this, this sternness um, because you had to protect yourself. And now it's like someone's coming in that's going to remind you to, you know, to, to give in a little, to be more spontaneous, to be more, you know, adventurous, more risky, more daring. I heard risque, so not even risky, but risque. You know, this is somebody that is going to like, you know, encourage you to, you know, do to be playful, to embrace your inner, that youthful spirit, you know. Um, but it says ca recapture the romance um, and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is someone you're going to have a lot of fun with, you know. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of laughter. I'm hearing laughter. And we got reconciliation here on the bottom of the deck. And it says someone from your past is returning in your life. So whoever this person is, remember I did get a sense of like someone um, trying to emotionally manipulate you. Uh, but then I also get a sense of like, you know, there's being options and choices that you're going to have to make. And that's why I was picking up trust your intuition. Um, because whoever's coming in, I do feel, I was feeling you knew this person or you are familiar with this person. And there is an opportunity to um, to reconcile, you know, because this is someone that does feel like you're the one, you know, this is someone that does um, definitely feel like you're the one that got away, um, you know, they let you slip away, perhaps, and we have let go of control issues, and we have keep an open mind, and then there goes that true love there, very interesting, so for some of you, this could be someone you know that could be returning because they have this interest. Don't forget, you know, Mercury retrograde tends to bring back people from your past. So if this is, like I said, some nasty, volatile energy, a karmic, you know, ex that you learned a lot of lessons from, I don't feel spirit is telling you to just open up and let that person back in. Um, I definitely feel like you got to trust your intuition when it comes to that. But if this is someone that you knew from your past and you all had dope chemistry and there was a very dope connection, but something just kind of it just ended suddenly, um, that is a potential to revisit, to, you know, to rekindle that situation if you see fit. Um, what we have is Lauren Hill playing X Factor. So this is definitely for some of you a test. Uh, your ex may be coming back to test you. So be mindful of that. Like I said, Mercury retrograde is not a time to be building and developing a relationship or starting a new relationship, I should say. Um, take some time to get to know that person as we saw uh, here. This is the, you know, suggestion. This is, you know, your advice from spirit. It's like getting to know someone and building that tr trust with someone is a very healthy way 
to forge an alliance or to build and nurture and cultivate a new relationship. But just jumping back into something with someone because they return, that is definitely a no-no. That could be a test. Spirit could be testing you. So Divine Spirit, we're going to pull some, some letters, some angel um, names and some numbers and then we're going to wrap it up. So I see you. So focus on you. I also feel like don't allow someone to upset you. I'm also f hearing um, undermine. Someone could be coming in to undermine you. But I'm also hearing there's an underlying reason for someone returning. And this could be in regards to money or in regards to getting some sort of handout. Um, I'm also getting a sense of like things are looking up for you. Um, someone's name. I'm hearing um, is... Um, I'm hearing, uh, what's that name? Eunice. I'm hearing Eunice. Unique. I'm definitely getting a sense of like you're unique. You're uniquely made. You know? And so you, you have to know that. That you're lovable. We got Z here. So don't let anybody sleep on you. I'm definitely getting a sense like something is like definitely... Um, Someone is definitely like trying to manipulate someone's energy during, you know, that resting state, like during those uh, witching hours. Someone may be waking up, you know, during witching hours. And I'm also hearing look up in the sky, like sun gaze, make sure to wake up, you know, and, and sun gaze. Um, so divine spirit, what messages you have for my beloved Scorpios? I'm going to wrap it up. So they gave me a bunch of them. We got D. So I'm getting divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm also hearing somebody was definitely giving, you know, away the D and they could have caught some sort of spiritual transmitted disease. Um, I'm also getting a sense of like divine, um, divine download, divine interventions. Um, deep dives, I also heard. So that could be the conversations you and this person are having, some really deep dives, getting to know one another. I'm hearing that someone has depth. It's more than meets the eye. Someone's name could be David, Donald, Denise, Danny, Dominique, Destiny, Desire. I feel like you're getting what's destined. It's like this is destined for you. Something's coming full turn, uh, full circle, pardon me. I also get a sense of a devoted man. Look what's hiding underneath that. We got Mar Mary Magdalene. So there's wish fulfillments here as well. Wow, that's beautiful. We got the number three that's associated with the Empress. And remember, Lady Goddess did show up. So you are definitely seen as a feminine, divine feminine energy, divine masculine. If you are masculine, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense. Where is it? Why is it always hiding? There it is. So that Empress energy, that's what that is in this deck. So, you know, you are seen as such. I'm also getting a sense of like you healing from past pains and traumas, disappointments. I'm hearing someone... You know, a masculine can be returning. So we got that divine feminine, then we got the divine masculine. I'm also getting a sense of like, you know, um, missed opportunity. But I'm also hearing, you know, there could be, um, there could be someone's name. It could be like Michael, Michelle, Mitchell, Mary, Monique. I'm hearing money. I hear like whatever you are building, whatever you're. Uh, manifesting it's like it's it's bringing in abundance I'm hearing money 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 I'm hearing money magnet and we have a steel pulse and this is called your house so I do feel like there's gonna be some money I feel like you're manifesting right now money I'm hearing a yes answer with this why so this why is saying that there is a yes answer I'm also seeing, oh, wow, <laughs> I don't want to even say that, I am going, I am going to say, it. but yeah, this, this is definitely like a yes answer, so, and I'm hearing yin yang, and we have Archangel Metatron, and that deals with the, um, Archangel Metatron deals with your, uh, your, your first eye, wait, was it the first eye, I believe it was, wait, because Archangel Uriel deals with the, Seventh chakra. Yeah, so Archangel Metatron deals with the first eye in my um, energy oracle deck. So definitely use your first eye to see. 
because I feel like someone's trying to play you like a dummy because that's what I was going to say because I see D U M Y and so you know D U M Y so that's like dummy it's missing an M but I heard dummy and I wasn't going to say it but spirit said no say it let them know so that they don't fall for the okie doke you know so someone's trying to play you for a dummy and spirit is saying trust your intuition use discernment this is the same person that could have broke your heart because I'm getting the three swords and now that you've fully recovered because I'm seeing the empress it's like now they want to return but thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in I hope you appreciated this deep dive um, for any of you that may be new I do uh, provide a uh, consultation so you can check my description box and click the link and it will take you to my Etsy shop and you can book your consultation there and um, also you know do some perusing I have items that I make I have a couple of things here that I wanted to show you all so I do make um, wands this is like a magical wand that I have handmade you know I find these beautiful sticks out in nature during my nature walks and I handcraft them this is 999 copper wire uh, you can see there's real crystals. This is Palo Santo, genuine Palo Santo beads. Um, this is a real selenite uh, wand as well. But I make these. This is good for like, you know, setting intention when you're doing your magic. You could even use these as an altar piece. I also make selenite wands. So these are selenite wands also wired with the uh, 999 copper. Um, got a small one here as well. And I also make handcraft. These are handcrafted. This is a selenite bowl. And these are crystal trees with genuine crystals. This is um, one of my masterpieces. And these are real uh, genuine crystal um, uh, pieces as well. And then this is a one of a kind. This is the last one. I actually had two that I made. This is the last evil eye tree that I made. So, you know, check out my shop peruse see if there's anything you like but thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in until next time i want to send a big fat asheo to each and every one of you peace